Everybody in chat, welcome to the Gotcha Cast episode three. Today will be Genshin Impact themed, and I'm very, very, very excited about that. Generally, we did Honkai Star Rail. We're going to be doing almost every gotcha that you can think of because we are all up in the head and it's going to be great to talk about <laughs> what we spend excess financial income irresponsibly on video games rather than paying our bills uh, in case you guys don't know 4.0 fontaine came out recently and a lot of stuff dropped with it the reception for fontaine has been pretty good from what i've seen and uh, i don't really want to spoil how i feel about it yet but i thought it would be nice rather than give you my opinion give you everybody's opinion of all of my friends in this call it'll be a damn good time we're going to be talking about fontaine we're going to be talking about the main story quest mechanics expectations future hopes and uh the characters and mechanics and how hoyo versus direction as a whole is aligning with our hopes and expectations for the company today i am joined by seven other guests that i messaged no joke with pretty much no heads up at all i generally try to give everybody 24 hours this is literally a last minute thing that i just said I'll just get it together real quick. And uh, we have a lot of great people here to get, uh, today. Some that you recognize, some that you may not. But I would like to just start in no particular order. Actually, no, we'll do top left to bottom right. First up, we will introduce Braxophone. Welcome back to the podcast, brother. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. my name is Braxophone. Uh, I make lots of uh, Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail videos. And I'm playing RuneScape right now. So, yeah. Bro, what is what is going on with that? What is with the <laughs> whole RuneScape thing? Every like every like two years there's like this resurgence where we all just go back to it i don't know what it is it's like bred into us like we learned this behavior and now we can't unlearn it we always come back so everyone's just on rune light making group iron mans and shit now and it's i don't know it's yeah. fun i know you say everyone but i'm gonna correct that i am not getting on that game, bro. Why, why not <laughs> good. Yeah, good. 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 God. No, is even it like the yearly two-week Minecraft thing that everyone does. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yep, <laughs> one million percent. Yeah, even Seer tried to get me on OSRS, bro. I'm good, brother. <laughs> I am good. No thanks, man. Oh, uh, man. But that's just my opinion. All right, next up we have everyone's favorite Baldur's Gate three streamer back. Actually, for the first time on the podcast. Uh, we have OK Code. Actually, no way. I know, man. Actually, also a great uh, theory crafter. <laughs> Baldur's Gate now. And guide maker for Honkai Star Wars on uh, Genshin. Like, what's going on with Baldur's Gate 3, man? I've just been addicted to the game. I think I've played like, I think I'm playing with like five different groups simultaneously or something. Have you not beat it yet? No, I got like Act 2 or something, but so many groups. I've played through Act 1 so many times. I think I yeah. know every little details now. Have you uh, have you done the part where you make the brain be your buddy? Uh, that's like the beginning of the game, no? Yeah, but did you do it? Did you get the brain buddy or no? Yes. Oh, uh, did I have to keep on killing him? And I I just felt horrible every single time, man. Did you have sex with the bear yet? I I, I okay. In my run, I'm not doing any sex. <laughs> oh, why <laughs> not, <laughs> dude? <laughs> That's so lame. I didn't press any flirt dialogue. Dude, you know what's so funny? I have this buddy, his name's Strippin, and he was streaming Baldur's Gate. And uh, the moment he got front page prio, he was having sex with the demon on stream. And it was like shooting up by like 10,000 views. And it was no way. so Live funny. Sex. It was so funny. Uh, have you done the, uh, the Dark Urge playthrough? Uh, well... Not yet. I know what it does, though. Dude, try it. I uh, I did it, and then uh, I was in a camp, and then all of a sudden there's this really nice girl, and she approaches me, and then I go to sleep, and then in the morning I'm just eating her. Bro, it is <laughs> so cool. Uh, but yeah, okay, Code, if you like Baldur's Gate and Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, watch the stream. Super good dude. Oh. Not an alcoholic anymore. Super awesome. Next, we yes. have a guy we had drama with the other day. It was rough. <laughs> it, was, it was really rough. It was really tense. Uh, but we came to terms with it. And, uh, we, we, you know, it's water under the bridge now. We have Yakes TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's your boy Yakes. You know, the, the artist formerly known as Yakes. But what's up, guys? I'm Eeks. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw some of the funny videos with Tectone. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I create Genshin content, too. Stream it all the time. I make, like, educational stuff, entertaining stuff, kind of a mix of everything. And uh, yeah, I am honored to be here. It's super hyped to uh, talk with fellow degenerates about Gotcha and Genshin. And um, thank you for having me, homies. I, I'm honestly curious. Did you start out? Did you? Hold up. Someone's knocking on my window. Wait, what the? F that is so creepy. Oh, God. I want a two-four that? Okay, it's the bear there. again. It's got to be. Wait, so did, how long have you been watching me? Because you're like a 25-month sub now. Um... 
Yeah, I mean, I started watching you like right when Genshin started because I, I played Ark Knights for a bit and I just watched, binged all your tier list shit Sick. to know who to pull for. And then, yeah, uh, pretty much right out the drop of Genshin, yeah. Cool, because yeah, like all my chat knows you, which is cool as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but. No, it's a, it's a great thing. Also, your subathon's over, huh? Yeah. Damn. We did our best. Yeah, that's a shame. Did you want it to end or no? I don't know if I can let them know that. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I, it's a lot of fun. It's mm. it's hard being on all the time. I mean, I was I didn't have anyone like come in for me really, except for when I was sleeping. So I, I was pretty tired by the end of it. But it was like an honestly like an amazing experience. Like uh, I learned a lot. So if I ever do another one, like I'll make it a uh, make it a whole lot better. Did you uh, did you start to hallucinate yet, or did you not get to that point? No, not yet. Not yet. Dude, subathons when you're a face cam streamer, they're bad. Like they're bad. Okay. VTubers, you have some outs, right? But when you're when you're when you're camming it, bro, like you go to the bathroom and you start pissing and you're like, wait, am I on camera? And you just start freaking out <laughs> over everything because you're used to being watched 24 7. That that actually happened. I was sitting on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that and is. Like, I like yeah. I literally jumped for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, it's it's uh yeah, subathons uh, and playing Five Nights at Freddy's are pretty much when you're the most at risk for uh showing off your junk on camera. It is it is horrifying. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, did y'all see I show me or did y'all not see that? <laughs> I'm yeah. about to say I'll I'll have my first subathon next week ish. Oh, dude, when, when I go to when I go to bed, I'll have like three pairs of underwears. On my, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, doing you... my first subathon uh, next month. Oh, I'm not risking fun. anything. For my birthday. Very cool. How, how old are you turning? Are you public about your age or now? 29. You're turning my age, bro? Jesus. Are we all the same age? What is happening here? That uh. is crazy, brother. That's <laughs> nuts. If yeah. you need any help with that, with y'all subathons, by the way, let me know. I'm done help with anything. All right. Next up, we have Island XD, a incredible lore theory crafter and just super, super handsome. That's sure our first time, our first time meeting, right? First time meeting? Yeah, we talked before a couple of times, but first time actually face to face, I guess, through a camera. That's pretty dope. Yeah, Glad it's cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of people here that I actually, actually look up to. Actually, which is pretty funny. It's pretty insane. Wait, are you gonna cry? But, uh, Please Honor, cry. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it would make the podcast <laughs> awesome. Like I put gets emotional. Episode three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I make Genshin videos. I make Star videos. I make Hoyaverse videos. I pretty much focus everything on lore a lot of the times and i'm pretty introverted to my knowledge i'm the most introverted person in his existence but you know i do what i can dude i used to be super, but whether you can believe it or not i used to be super introverted as well and then i just decided i just don't want to be like that anymore and so i just started pretending that i was extroverted for like two years yeah that, that actually works a little bit for it does sure. yeah i need to try that you should. Just think, I'm super comfortable right now, all the time. Just try it, and I'm telling you, it, it works. Yeah, and then you just let go, and then be like, screw it, and then yeah. you just kind of do stuff. Yeah, for sure. See, so you works. use gaslighting to your advantage on yourself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if y'all like lore videos, check out Island XD. Incredible stuff. Very, very, very good. And uh, yeah, welcome to the podcast. It's very nice to meet you, brother. Nice being here. All right, next up. Very exciting guest. Very, very, very exciting. So I am a big YouTube shorts type of guy. I'll be real. I don't really use TikTok too much anymore. Uh, I like watching ASMR slime videos and then uh, Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail shorts. And I've been browsing YouTube shorts over and over and over again for the past couple of weeks. And there's this little ball of joy. This little, this little <laughs> gumdrop that comes in and is like, guys, let me tell you about Genshin Impact lore. Did you know this? And I found Kettle Toro. Oh my God. The literal cutest shorts I've ever seen. Uh, and we have her here today. Kettle Toro, it is very nice to meet you. Hey, hello. It's so nice to meet you too. I am so flattered. Oh my goodness. I was so shocked. Someone told me you responded to my tweet and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh what, i'm so just, oh, just yes. to make sure like what what else do you do like for your content oh i stream yes i like streaming a lot that's basically it and i just do stupid stuff on stream essentially just hoyaverse games or whatever mainly hoyaverse games yeah mainly honkai Star Rail and genshin 
Which one do you prefer? Yeah. Uh, I think I like Genshin a little more than Honkai Style, personally. That is so refreshing. Because it's, it's, it's nicer to explore the open world. I like to ooga booga, you know? Like, I'm all about turning <laughs> yeah. off my brain when I play Hoiverse games. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Honkai Style isn't always like that, so... Yes. Have you? Uh, do you have Silver Wolf? No. Oh my goodness! I'm so mad. I got. I got freaking Ranya. Yeah. Yep. If but you she's get, not bad, so it's okay. She's really good. But if you but, get Silver Wolf, you can legitimately turn off your brain. Okay. You get Silver Wolf. You get Luocha. You don't have to think anymore. And you just press the autoplay button, and then you win. You can make any comp work. Every boss dies immediately. And anybody who owns a Silver Wolf is a f idiot. And I'm just gonna go on record saying that. Also, let's get uh, some uh, Pepe mm -hmm. W's in the chat for uh, Code's new artifact roll. Uh, that was oh. awful to say. Again. With one, though. <laughs> I'm I so think... tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which it's one? like a new one every day. What are you okay, that is oh awful to God. say, bro. I think you have like a 40 crit value, like a hands or something today, man. I got linked it again, and it is so annoying to see man every day code gets a new god tier relic and i have nothing i frank molding on my twitter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. yeah this uh, is a skill issue to be honest well kettle toro it was very nice to have you on the podcast and next up we have necrit if you don't know necrit amazing league of legends lore theorist recent genshin impact enjoyer i'm actually not sure where you're at in honkai star rail uh, but some of the best content you can find on YouTube. Recommend everybody check out his channel. And uh, you've been streaming a ton lately, huh? I had three days of. I mean, I mean, I, I was on, on a vacation and I just came back because you know Fontaine came out. So uh, yeah, yeah, just because of you guys, I came back. Oh just to stream man, Genshin. that <laughs> is time. so sweet. Where'd you go on vacation? Uh, just traveling around Europe. Nothing, nothing, nothing too special, but it's still cool. No, Camping, you... fishing, actually. I actually like fishing. You know what? I haven't fished in Fontaine. I'll get there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, is it it's good? Really I don't know. When I, I first know. tried I it, it was okay. I enjoyed fishing for the catch, okay? You I enjoyed did? it. Well, I you did it for I the mean, item, I, not the gameplay, surely. I did it. No, I did it. I did it for the meme. Like, people didn't know. People didn't know that I was doing fishing in the background. I purposefully never fished on stream. And then I was, you know, then, then I was like, what, what's a really cool, what, what's a really cool spear? What can I put on my characters? And they were like, get the catch, get the catch. And I was like, you know how long does it take and they were like, they were like oh it, it, it takes like like two weeks you have to really dedicate your time and then of course i had everything pre-farmed in the background <laughs> so i just went to the vendor just bought it and you know like okay wait yeah, you you faked that whole clip yes that was all like nobody knew i was fishing in the background i never streamed it oh. i did it all behind their backs it was a Fly, dude! Oh yep. my yep. god, that is. Everyone was trying to bait me. Everyone, everyone thought they were so clever. <laughs> dude, <that's laughs> and so... There I was. That's messed up, man. I like, I like fishing. I have like eight thousand fish caught in WoW. Even though that's the worst one ever. Genshin's uh -huh. fishing is pretty cool, to be honest, compared to other games. Have you done uh, Stardew Valley's? Yeah, that one's cool, actually. That's it's similar to, isn't it? One. Isn't it? Actually, it's similar to uh, Genshin. Also, there's another one that had a good one. Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, yep. that one's... Oh, yeah. Yep. Super good. <laughs> well, uh, Necrit, welcome back to the podcast. Always great having you here. And next up, we have another return guest. We have Ufi, the should-have-been winner for OTK Elevated. Also, another lore theorist. This will be the one Honkai Impact third person that won't shut up about it the entire podcast. Did, did the did both main story Archon quests last night just so that way she could come on here and chill Honkai Impact third to everybody? Always great to have you here, Ufi. Yeah, I I speed ran the that Archon quest last night and only for only for you. Well, I sure hope you didn't skip any dialogue, because if you did, then what's the point of even playing the game? Because no, if you're not playing skip. it my way, what's the point? I didn't skip. I didn't skip. I'm not a skipper. Okay, cool. I want to know your opinions, but I don't want to know them yet, because uh, I'm stoked as... You're still streaming a lot too, right? Oh, yeah. Sick. I need to I need to kind of take a little break before, <laughs> before this stuff is on, so I don't lose my mind. You know what? I don't think you should. To be no. honest, I don't think you should because I mean you just really got to get into it. You you got to immerse yeah. yourself in the subathon. I would not take a break at all, but that's okay. just my opinion. Because eventually, the hardest part of the subathon is the first two days. Especially, are you doing it on cam or are you turning off cam when you go to sleep? 
No, I'm doing on cam. You're letting people watch you sleep? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the worst. It makes someone thought so damn hard. Uh, well, I, I wish you the best of luck with that. But the first the first 48 hours are the hardest. Uh, okay. And what, what you just got to understand is if your timer is above 24 hours, you don't have to try. Okay, you don't. You can just sit there and you only got to say shit. Okay, nobody's gonna yeah. leave because they're all mentally ill and they've formed a parasocial relationship after the forty-eight hour mark, and you're good to go, and you don't have to do anything. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of nervous, anxious about it. So. Well, you shouldn't be because they're. I'll be real. Subathons are easy. Okay. Yeah. They're they're easy. Okay. And these days people were but before they were hard. Now people are too understanding. They're like, oh yeah, take your time. Yeah, health is important. Yeah, you can go to sleep for eight hours. Back in my day, if I slept for more than three hours, my chat was shitting on me. Now they're like, oh yeah, take, a, take dude, 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 dude. People take days off on their subathon now. I cannot believe that shit. That is insane to me. That is, wow. that is insane to me. There was even a person who said, I'm going to pause my subathon for a week and then come back to it. Uh, isn't that isn't that just streaming at that point? It, yeah. It is, yeah. It, is, it is literally just streaming, but now you're getting paid way more to do it for way less energy. It's a scam, man. It's a scam. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Speaking of which, guys, we're doing a subathon this year. It's gonna be oh, epic. <laughs> Hope you guys. Have... We're doing one sub for right one after minute. You said that, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, be great. my longest subathon was like 52 hours, but I didn't know you can sleep during subathon. So I Twitch staff had to contact me and say self harm is illegal on Twitch, so you shouldn't, you should go to sleep. And that's when I ended my subathon. <laughs> like two years ago, I didn't know you can sleep during subathon, so I just did 52 hours, and then they tell me to end the stream. What the. I mean, people legitimately died in the past from doing this, so you know I, I'm kind of <laughs> understanding, yeah. And that was wow. my only subathon experience. How have I never heard that? Is, ended. That is insane. insane. That was in the yeah. new one, like the new world release as well. Bro, but the sleeping content for subathon is the best content because then you just put on like copyrighted shows in the background <laughs> for everybody to react to. <laughs> Like all of Master Chef, all of Hunter Hunter, all of Naruto, like it's all on YouTube. Oh shit! Yeah, but I haven't done the subathon things. Oh shit! <laughs> well, now that everybody's been welcomed in, uh, I want to go into the next step, and I do want to talk about Fontaine 4.0, uh, and then more specifically, I have some little notes pulled up because I do want a little bit of structure for this. Uh, I do want to talk about what was everybody's Fontaine's expectations going in. Uh, for me personally, um, my expectations were, and I'm going to be real, my expectations were I thought, I thought the water exploration was going to suck. I'm just going to be real. I thought the water exploration was going to suck. I thought you weren't going to be able to swap characters. Um, I thought that the main story quest was going to be a little bit slow, uh, and I'm not going to say which expectations were met, but I, I am just curious. Did you have any fears or any hypes for 4.0, uh, coming in and we'll just start up from Ufi and we'll work our way back to the top. Ufi, what were your expectations for 4.0 going in? I really didn't have much ex expectation other than like, I was really worried about the water be like having a breathing mechanic and the water being so big like so basically half of the new region so i was like there better not be a breathing mechanic so i'm glad that there's not <laughs> yeah no i, I can honestly so say it, if there was breathing i i would not have fucked with it at yeah, all no, i would, I would have not win back nope because dragon spine's little chilling mechanic was already bad enough as it is so yeah, I, no. i'm glad that doesn't exist and it's it's weird. It's weird. Like it, it feels weird, but it also feels good. Like I, I wish there was yeah. like a little bubble that goes over your head. But I guess now we have a fish that falls behind our ass in order to censor the uh, the fan service of the game, which <laughs> I would like to say. Unless you not... swim up or down. True. And it's not there. <laughs> I'm not like a degen. I just don't like that censoring because it looks weird. I, I don't know if we're on the same page for that, but I just feel like it just looks yeah. weird. If it's there, it makes it weirder, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. More it distracting. Focuses on the problem. Like, exactly. It feels so out of place. It does. But yeah, Necker, what do you think going in? 
So, so uh, it depends. It be, uh, what part do you want to focus on? Because I could legitimately fill up this entire podcast just me talking about everything from I... like the environment <laughs> to the story to the mechanics. So I, I want to know your main concerns and your main hypes for your expectations for 4.0 Fontaine. And you can take as so, long as you want. So this was this this was the first time I played something from Genshin that is fresh. Because before, every time I got into a new region, because I'm a new player, I experienced the regions as like one massive package. And this was the first time I experienced only a little bit of it. So I, I this is the first time I was not overwhelmed. Because if you go into Inazuma, everything is out there and you can just like, you know, go through all the islands. Because from what I understand, Inazuma was separated on the different islands when it first released and not everything was available. And so this is the first time I, I, I got a little piece of Fontaine and I can just chill, not rush anything, because I know I'm not going to be missing out on, on any events or anything like that. So, the title. Shout out their channel. Legitimately, it feels great that I can list. relax, not rush anything. And uh, again, it, look, water levels were never good in any games. <laughs> from seriously. Zelda, from <laughs> Zelda so to Mario, yeah. everyone tried it, everyone failed. Yep. Sonic, it's a nightmare. I have never seen a game unless you do, do Subnautica, but ironically, if you if you replace water with space in Subnautica, you know it's the exact same game except you're in space. I don't count that as water because yep. that's the game. So this is the first time I jumped into water, and I was having fun. Yeah, that was that was a surprise. I did not expect that. It was nice. It was it was good. I I uh, I agree. But I, I, actually, I don't want to talk about what I enjoyed or didn't enjoy yet. But uh, yeah, the water was a big fear of mine. Also. Subnautica. I hate that game, bro. It is so scary. I still haven't played it, and uh, don't. I don't like uh, big sharks and fish, and um, yeah. Dude, I All played I played VR <laughs> Subnautica. It was one of the most horrifying experiences of my life. No, Which, you know, I, I'm glad that that's what's most horrifying about my life, but still, it is not good. A Reaper Leviathan coming up and grabbing your headset is horrifying. Don't play it. It's not worth it. Just don't play it. <laughs> also, Kettle Toro, what are your expectations for Fontaine? Yo, I actually, I was kind of worried that Fontaine would be boring because I was frankly beginning to get a little burnt out from Genshin. Like, it was the same cycle over and over again. We just get a new five-star character and it's kind of just like, eh. Like, yeah, it's cool, but it's kind of getting boring. And also, like, how is Fontaine going to be better than Samaru when Samaru had freaking Dendro added? Like, how do you go above that? Dendro just made it so interesting. Wait, did you like Samaru? At least to me. I, I liked the dungeon mechanic. I didn't mind Samira. Samira's pretty cool. Although I would say I feel like my enjoyment of the game has been very distorted for the past two years. Because when I decided to start doing YouTube, I thought it would be cool to make myself different by not unlocking my map. So like honestly, exploring Samira right. and Inazuma has been an absolute like shithole. You didn't you didn't get your map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still dark in every stream I get someone asking me about it. But anyway, for this one, I I have given up for Fontaine. I unlocked it, and it's it's honestly so much better. So I don't think I'm a very good person to ask about the comparison between the different regions because I, I don't even know why I'm still doing this challenge at this point. It's such an annoyance to explore. I don't even explore anymore. But yes. Okay, I, uh... I am curious. You said you enjoyed Sumeru. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I quit for 10 months because of Sumeru. Uh, because of the, I believe it was the Sinnoh story quest, and there was a cutscene uh -huh. where I talked to a little kid for about a minute and a half, and I snapped, uh -huh. and I couldn't take it, because it was like, I was talking to Nahida, there was a quest with Nahida, where it kept on making me do the same shit over and over and over again, I forgot what was happening in-game, I had to redo it and redo it, because I, I was in, like trapped in a dream or some shit, I am uh -huh. curious, did you enjoy the story of Sumeru? Because, like, me personally, my favorite was Inazuma. Inazuma was peak Genshin Impact for me. But I am because, and I want to know everybody's opinion. What, what was, like, your favorite expansion expansion or game state for Genshin Impact? <laughs> Bro, we're literally the opposite. I'm sorry. I held no, like, emotional connection to Inazuma's Arco Quest. I was so mad. It was so bad. Really? After, after, yeah, after Raiden pulled out her cool booba sword, everything after that was trash. Tepe, like, I kind of forget that he exists half the time i don't know why people got like Samaru was such an upgrade uh i like Samaru. Yes. i do yep i agree this i'm sorry i was yeah, boring same. i agree yeah I think, okay everyone so... is against tectonia yeah if I I so... hey that's how it always Samaru. is brother it ain't nothing new <laughs> <laughs> i've been here no, for I years like, uh... man <laughs> 
I like that. Wait, uh, you're the first like person I've ever Wars heard that said, yeah, you know what? Eden Zuber is good. No one, I've never heard anyone say that. I'm sorry. I'm hey, so sorry to get and, that. And you never will, okay? Because that's my damn hill <laughs> I'll die on. I love Eden Zuber. You want to know why? Because Japan equals good. That was the <laughs> anime zone. <laughs> Bro, fair, I fair, loved fair. it. Dude, oh, but, but, but dude, but dude, was there was there any cutscene that rivaled, you know, Kazuha using like the vision of his dead friend to parry Raiden Shogun's okay. galaxy sword attack, bro? Fair. That was that was very that was so cool. That was the coolest cutscene. But sadly, everything else was just kind of like, what is going on? Okay. I feel like Senora carried it hard. To be fair. Oh yeah, Senora was. <laughs> oh. Dude, honestly, your death scene Garrett was so it. cool. I, I like that. carried it hard. Dude, dude, yes. when Senora comes back in Honkai Star Rail's coffin from Carried by Luocha, nobody's going to see that <laughs> shit coming except for me. Okay? No, cause... what do you mean? Like, the current copium thing is like the next chapter, Natlin, the main title is Old of Resurrection. So, surely, mm. right? I mean, wait, no, gonna... wait, oh. people are. I mean, that's no what people way. are hoping with, right? It's called Resurrection. Oh it's the main story quest of, like, the next island, well, the next uh, region. So everyone's thinking, oh, maybe, maybe, uh, what is the name of Sonora gets revived. No, no, no. Uh, what is he gonna do? What is, what's gonna happen? They're gonna open, like, a coffin and, like, a puff of dust is gonna come up? Like... <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah! <laughs> what are they gonna do? I don't know, feed her, like, an egg and just revive her like everyone else. Yeah, straight up! <laughs> yeah. Like, they wreck an egg out? inside and she reforms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be oh my so God. sick. We need, we need to talk about more about Sumeru later, but uh, Island, uh, what'd you think of uh, Fontaine before you were able to go in? What were your expectations? Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Before, before even the live stream for Fontaine, Genshin Impact was dead to me. <laughs> I am not joking. Yeah. The, the main reason is because... How do I put this? So... I don't know how many of you here was there when they were revealing new regions for the first time with like 2.0, 3.0, like those live streams, right? Yep. You know? First time it happened with Inazuma, it was hype as oh, it, it was actually was. Yep. And then Sumeru, it was still hype, but then not as much. Yep. I think. Just for the live stream itself, hype level. Cause because it looked it looked just it just looked like Mondstadt. Yeah, and like it was a little bit I liked the culture of like the game when I played it, but then it was very foreign to me. So I was kind of like not as used to it because Japan, everybody knows Japan. Like it's anime stuff, right? Yep. Um, and then Fontaine live stream happened and I was like, dude, I'm kind of used to this like re releasing new region stuff. I'm like, this is, yeah. it was good. It looks good, but I don't know. It kind of like probably a miss maybe. And then I played it. Dude, I felt like a sinner. I'm telling you, I'm like, I cannot believe I just didn't trust them. Oh my god, this is blowing my mind. Yeah. Because it's not just exploration. I this we'll talk about it later, I suppose. But this art conquest, oh my god, it carried so hard. Oh, it did. From in my opinion. Also, yeah. Before I forget, I think it's the details. It's like when you when you hop onto I forgot what the boat is called. You know, they they got the little aqua bus. Aqua, the aqua oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and drop on it. And 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 the little Melzine talks to you while you're like riding the ship. It's it's the little details. I it's jumped so off. Cool. Uh, I love the tour guide. The moment I just yes. said, like Disney World. The moment you said don't jump off, I immediately jumped off. <laughs> like, I also <laughs> did. Yeah. Yo. I need to go I back. I couldn't help I feel the bad. intrusive thoughts. I thought maybe like a special like thing would have happened, like a hey hey hey, and, like she like grabs you and just pulls you back on, throws you in your seat. But instead, <laughs> that would have been funny. You go. I felt like a dumbass and I just fell to my fell to my death under under the water. But that's wait, funny. what happens if you fall? Does the boat just keep going with it? Just keeps you? going. <laughs> Did you yeah. you missed out on the entire thing? Yep. I I was scared to jump out. That was, was such chilling. a cool tour. <laughs> yeah. Well. No, 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 I I got on the tour, but then I was scared to jump out. So like. I just sat on the I sat on the boat. I was I was wondering what happens if you actually jump out. Yep, you die. It's cool. <laughs> That's not with me. At least I just fell. I hit the oh, ground. God. I died. And then so chance bam, don't make a wall. That's so sad. All right, yo, Eeks, what'd you expect for Fontaine going in? Okay, I'm not even saying this to be contrarian of everyone else. I yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I genuinely had like really high expectations of Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Star Rail came out, what, like a month and a half, two months before. I think it was pretty obvious that Star Rail kind of blew a lot of people away. 
I mean, it was unbelievably hype. The story was like fantastic in um, Harillo Six Bell. Yeah, Harillo Six. Bellabog. Yeah, Bellabog. Yep. Um, yeah, it was it was it was simple, but it was clean, just like the way it made me feel tonight. You know what I'm saying? But like, no, it was fun. And then all the quality of life changes they made in Star Rail that like there's just a laundry list of all the little mechanics because the game's base leveling up characters whatever is similar to Genshin but then they just improved all these things so I had high expectations that they would make quality of life changes from Star Rail uh like into Genshin in 4.0 which Lamau but like and then when it comes to exploration that is like the one thing I trust Hoyaverse in a lot Mm. is the ambiance of all the regions yep. along with the music and the sights and the sounds and like what you're going to see. Like I, I always trust them to do a good job in that. So like I, they delivered on that too. So I had high expectations because I was like, exploration will be good. And then hopefully they make a lot of positive changes. So they were met, but I am genuinely having like a, a really good time with Fontaine. Okay. So you you just like making a mockery of us, huh? So you just come on here and you just say, <laughs> "Oh, I'm the good guy." Okay, that's very, very good oh, PR you never stuff you guys there. Said you, right. Very good PR move, buddy. <laughs> no, I was. I mean, they didn't even they didn't even like. Are you sponsored? Are you doing a bounty right now? What's going on, man? <laughs> He's Wait, a paid actor. Yeah, you got to be doing a bounty. All right, ignore him, guys. All right, <laughs> let's go on. Now. Okay, Code, Code. What were your expectations for Fontaine going in? I think I was too distracted to notice about Fontaine. It's like with, with Baldi's Gate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it kind of warped my expectation a bit. But like, aside from that, I feel like I think I've gotten to the point where I just log in Genshin and do the new region content. And then I hop off and play something else sometimes. Yep, exactly the I same. Was like, I was like giga farming in the first year of Genshin, right? Like right now I still have like 9999 every collectible almost. So it, there's no point of me like farming anything anymore. Oh, so I just God. log in and just do the main story quest. What's the f point anymore, man? What's the f <laughs> point, bro? I already have everything maxed. And Jesus Christ, <laughs> the walls are closing in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh god! I just have fifty crit value on all of my artifacts. What's the <laughs> point? <laughs> What's the point? Like, wasn't the prime streaming content back then? Just uh, farming. Well, yeah. So like, most of the Genshin stream that I did back then was just me farming in the background while I'm just it's just like a five hour just chatting screen with like Genshin <laughs> on the background. It's like, bro, like, I have the info that no one had back then where. If I say it now, people will still think I'm crazy, but the yep. maximum amount of enemy you can kill a day is 2,000 common and 400 elites or something. So if you join what? seven wolves or have seven friends, you can max it all and farm like 500k more a day. You did all that? Wait, that's yeah, a I did thing? It every single day for like oh, a year. Wait, but what happens? Does the rest despawn or does it just not give loot? I, they just don't drop loot anymore after you oh. hit the cap. <laughs> Jesus oh my god. Christ. All right, now I want to I want to shed some light on a topic because I have code in person here right now, <laughs> okay? And we're gonna talk about that thing right now, guys. Okay, oh we're gonna talk about it right now. It's code, two years ago, okay. you and I were in a call. And we were talking okay. about a character. <laughs> Do you remember what character we were talking about? <laughs> was it God you? It was God you. <laughs> Oh no. Code. Is Ganyu a support or is she not a support? <laughs> In this day and age, I don't think you can play Ice character anymore, to be honest. But you don't think she's okay, question. Is it sub DPS a support? That's that's a weird I, I think that was like there was a war behind those terms, right? Is sub yep. DPS a support, yeah. I think a sub DPS uh, is a support. My opinion. Yeah. I, I think she's I a, a fantastic. I think she's a fantastic sub DPS. My opinion. Is it, mm -hmm. Isn't sub DPS basically filler damage you do when your main character is like on cooldown and stuff? No, no it's, it's, it's sub it's DPS when... is like the characters that put something on the field, mm. basically, when someone else does something really? else. 
It's like an off-field damage dealer. Basically. It's like fist. Yeah, it's like, like I don't. Yeah, I, but I like it's Zhang Ling an off-field. Yeah, some DPS because she's off-field. I don't know. Like, I mean, carry. honestly, I would say <laughs> yes. Carry, I would right? say Zhang Ling is a off-field sub DPS carry. My opinion, but that's yeah, just so my opinion. Is sub DPS. I don't. Know. I guess like raw definition would be sub DPS is like not the highest damage dealer of that comp or something. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. Yeah, folks. to me, it was just second best DPS, essentially. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's like, For me, you know, I'm they, noob. I would say that you need to run a healer, and then you run, like, a healer as a support, a sub DPS as a support. Everything is a support to the main guy on the field. So I can see that. Exactly. Can see healer that. was optional for the longest time, and they, they introduced the giant primal enemies, like the animals, <laughs> and it's like, ah, oh, now you need a healer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is, uh, is C6 Bennett good yet, or no? Well, yeah. it like C6 Bennett can work with the new free wind lady, because, like, the ICD... Okay, why am I talking about this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, works. Talking about okay, my bad. Wow. Sorry, 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 sorry. Anyways, yeah, Fontaine, yeah, Brax, thoughts on Fontaine going in? <laughs> uh, so, like, I, uh, I... I've always thought, like, since... Well, since 1.0, I always kind of erred on the, the side of caution when it came to, like, new, like, story stuff. Um, but in terms of, like... The region, I was pretty excited just because I'm so tired of the desert. I'm going to be honest. Like, yep. I, I liked it because it was new. And I was like, okay, the, the desert's cool. Like, it's a completely new area. Um, the feeling is new. Everything about it is new. And then there was more desert. And I was like, okay, well, you know, we can we can do this again. We can, we can keep going into the desert. And there was more desert. And there was more desert. And now my exploration, I think, is like 10% on every desert part of Sumeru. <laughs> uh, yeah. Same. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't even unlock the last part of because I can fly, and yeah. the other ones I just have like fifty or something. I think the one oh, you can yeah. fly, the Pokemon one. Yeah, that's the only thing I maxed. <laughs> okay, um, I, sorry, I got a comment real quick. I'm getting pissed off. All right, C six. This said. Okay, let me go back. C six Bennett is good. Tectone is stupid. How in the f how how is c5 bennett not just better because then you can use it with every character in the game or you can have slight optimization with some units that need pyro brax do you have any, do you have any thoughts on that i was just gonna say like i think that c6 bennett like basically it, it just depends on who you play because i i think you can make the argument that it's pretty shit if you play ayaka or if you play Kachang, yeah, but if you like, play, like, you know, C6 uh, Bennett is really mad good with characters that don't use Bennett. But yeah, if you play, like, any <laughs> pyro carry, you can, like, get the extra pyro damage, right? So, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it sucks. But I, I, I would agree that, like, yeah, you can do more with uh, with C5 Bennett. But I also don't think it's, like, bad yeah. okay. necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. You can just play like other supports earlier, of those no? characters. My like, primal can, fear like... is that they release a character that works super well with Bennett. But but if you C6 him in the past, you can't use them together. That is my primal fear. Yep. Because I yeah. C6 him. <laughs> if we're really I mean, to give a shit, so yep, I it yes. works both ways though, because like C6 Bennett works well with the new wind character, you know, yeah, because you can technically mm -mm. use two of them and you can trigger both reaction because infusion ICD. Who, works who is the, who is the new wind character? What is that? A cat lady, Lynette. the cat Lynette. little twin, Lynette? yeah, the oh. one you get for free. I ain't gonna see like... C6 my Bennett have synergy with the. Four star man, I just ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, am I not mean, doing it's, that. it's for like <laughs> most uh, most infusion, I'd say. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, I'm good. Um, but in general, like Fontaine, uh, mm -hmm. I think that my expectation when I started the story, I, I don't want to go into detail in the story because I think we're going to talk about that in a minute, but like. Yeah. When I started the story, I, I would say like it definitely blew my expectations out of the water. And then uh, in terms of the region, though, I do feel like for me, it's like more of the same. I think you can get burnt out on exploration in games. You, you do. I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't realize that you could until I played Genshin Impact. <laughs> so, yeah. definitely Bro, like... I don't want to collect 400 more Oculus. Like 80 is fine. Yeah. I yeah, gave yeah, all yeah. the exploration, to be honest. Too much. Um, it's, it's refreshing, though, I will say. And the, the mm -hmm. underwater was really good. I think they did a good job of that. The combat, I wish it was better, but like honestly, um, I think it's just really funny that now Dia has like an optimal position because you can just play Dia underwater with the clam set, and it's actually the highest DPS in the game underwater. So, oh. wait, <laughs> you, you shot, no, no, wait, you're no, no, no way. Wait, what? Sorry, what? Under, as far as underwater damage goes, playing Dia with the clam set because she heals herself when she gets below like 40% HP or whatever. Uh -huh. And then that clam set takes that damage and it hits harder underwater. So, because you can't use any skills or ultimates, so like playing Dia with clam is the highest damage you can get underwater. 
oh, with uh, right. alongside attacks. Is and stuff. it okay? Is it significant damage increase? Oh, Not really, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Are we, are we it's talking more, about like double <laughs> digit numbers <laughs> increase? Or it's like, like it's like an digits? extra six k every time the bottle uh, the the bubble pops. So you know it, it helps. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> can you turn Can you turn Hydro MC into a carry? Uh, I just want to no. stand there, <laughs> hold my e, boss <laughs> down. You know? Yeah, you I just want to do that. Exactly a boss with Hydro MC, but otherwise I don't know. No, if you got like a thousand dollars to drop, maybe we're getting to that part. Also, Braxton, you can just pet your cat for me, man. It's driving me nuts. Oh, you just, oh, thank God. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so we got that out of the way. Uh, now I want to talk about something very fun. Uh, what I've been wanting to talk about this whole episode. Now, I'm going to go last, uh, but we're going to go again in reverse order from Brax. Or if you really just want to scream, you can. Uh, who is y'all's favorite new character that has been introduced so far or a character that you're looking forward to releasing? Because I'll be real, I was not expecting to have two new favorite characters going into Fontaine. No, we let! Okay, I'm, okay, you know what? Okay, Necrit, go for it, man. Tell me all about who your new favorite characters are. Look, he's just, he's just, he's just John Lee again. That's right, dude. That's my reasoning. <laughs> yeah. dude, what I want to do, I want to make the ultimate <laughs> Chad team. It's going to be John Lee. It's going to be New Villain. It's going to be Diluc. I don't know who's the fourth one. Probably not Zhao. Someone manlier. Thank Bro, you. Edo, brother. What? Huh? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I need someone who's like older than twelve. <laughs> you know what? He's a he's a grown ass man, bro. Oh, like, is he? Sure. He's well, mentally twelve. He's I so cool. 12. I would rather I take all of him, to be honest. Oh, I, I don't know why he annoys you. I'm sorry. You don't like <laughs> you know? that I don't know. He's, how to he's <laughs> my most disliked oh, character. I'll hate him. Wait, but oh. why? No, to be fair, Edo's no, no, no. The voice actor is carrying him. I think hard, yeah. he's pretty hilarious. Oh yeah, he's, like, the, voice the character actor is, is actually really awesome. Oh, Max Middleman is incredible. Wait, no, uh, Kettle. Amazing. Wait, do you prefer Kettle or Toro or Kettle Toro? Kettle, just call me Kettle. Kettle, wh why do you not like Edo? Please help me, help me grasp this. I don't know, Matt. He's like, he's... the level of unearned confidence, dude. Maybe I'm just <laughs> jealous that he can be that confident. But dude, <laughs> you could not maybe. To be that confident while being that stupid. At least I know that I am, you know, a little slow. <laughs> but this guy, he's yeah. like way too arrogant. Nah, 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 nah. I, I find him frustrating to be around. Like if I knew him IRL, I would literally have to avoid him or I will lose my mind. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, am I, serious. I, I, I hate people like Edo, man. Jesus, <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Who's, who's your favorite Fontaine character, Kettle? Sorry, Who? me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your, who's your favorite uh, Fontaine character? Dude, I thought I would hate Nuvolet. I thought it was going to be an antagonist, but, like, his voice, dude. Oh, my God. He's good. Oh, yeah. He was reasonable. <laughs> he was, a, like, an antagonist or whatever. Like, he's actually cool, and his voice... Yeah. Also, I like the fact that I noticed. So, so I don't know any leaks. I avoid leaks like the plague, and, and so mm -hmm. I actually don't look into anything. So I don't know. So, so don't spoil anything for me. But during mm -hmm. during all the quests, I noticed something. Okay. Mm. It's always raining when something's happening to him. Yeah. Because. And what could that yes. mean? And I was like. <laughs> okay. And I was like, no. At first, at first, I was like. Because, because Farina is right? a really shitty Argon. Shut the f*** up! What in the- Whoa! Whoa! What are you- right. okay. We need to go back no, to- No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yep. I would love it. I don't think this is the case because people yeah, then told yeah. me about the prophecy of the yeah. Hydro Dragon and, yeah. you know, that's what I- that's what I now, now believe in. But, but if that's not the case, I would actually love it if, because obviously they know what we have been doing in the past, they know about the Gnosis, you know, they, they, they are not knowledgeable at this time. I was like, my theory was, what if they know? And what if they purposefully set up Farina to, 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 to look like she's the Archon? But she's not, because she's incompetent. And the entire time he was the Archon. <laughs> so when they come for her, they're not going to get anything, because it's a misdirection. I was hoping they would do that, but now I am leaning towards the dragon. Wait, theory. wait, wait. Is this common mm -hmm. discussion people have? I, this is the first time I hear, I'm hearing this. No! I know, I know. Crazy uh, about it. I just, I kind of, I kind of made it up. I don't know. The rain, the rain, dude. Like the moment, 
I noticed it. I noticed it at the at the end. I assume we can talk about spoiler ish, right? Yeah. Uh, I, you, I mean, you we can are talk, discussing dude, about uh, the in the story, title. Right? It is we're talking about the Archon quest. Yeah. You can talk. I'm about talking about like. the end of the Archon. I'm not yep. gonna spoil anything big, but but part of it is that no, we everybody here has agreed. We are talking about Archon. Talk about whatever the fuck right. you want, dude. You, hold on, uh, you just blew my mind. At the oh. end, it's at the end, it's <laughs> raining. So that, that yep. that's yeah. that's the one that broke me. It's raining, and then the, he talks to uh, the yellow rose. Forget her name, the, the, the that lady, Navia. 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 They talk it out, and it stops raining. And I was like, yeah. oh, this happened in the past because Navia mentioned that the day her father died, it was raining. Yep. And I know that yeah. he has a big connection to Nouvelle. And I was like, ha, huh, that's weird. And then before that, he talked to Navia. And the moment Navia walked outside after she cried, it started raining. Well, I and mean, I was it's, like, huh. it, it's, it's, no, it is, it's very straightforward. Like, he is the water yeah. dragon. He even refers it's, to yeah. people, to be that way. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's not even, it's like, seems like he is. Like, his eyes are dragons. He even refers to yes. the other people as. You humans. 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 Like, I literally. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And he has the dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. I will go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. So, we're hinging on the fact that he... You, Neku, you're saying there's a possibility that he might be an Archon. But... I would love it if that was the case. I don't think that's the case. No, he's, he's just a dragon. I would love it, it if he was people, actually an Archon. A lot of people are saying Nuvalet is a dragon because obviously there's a lore aspect connected to him. And then yeah. that's yeah. in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, then, at the start of the quest, we literally said another dragon question mark. Like the travel literally yeah. said yeah. that. <laughs> I, oh! <laughs> yeah. Remember? Personally, <laughs> I always, this entire time, just took that as a fact that he was just a dragon or a bishop, perhaps. Yeah. Who knows? But uh, uh, I mean, Johnny was a dragon. And if you really think about it, it's raining when he's sad or dragon sad or whatever. Yep. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. yeah. That elemental type of rain could be connected to an archon in a way if he's not a dragon. He's a dragon. So now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, like, there's a possibility oh. now. Oh my God, my brain. Because, yeah, because, because the first, the, the first yeah. thought was he has to be archon because that's mm -hmm. the one who has that kind of power. Would dragon mm -hmm. would, like affect the world in the same way? I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know the lore yeah. that deep. I mean, I mean Storm Terror, right? <laughs> well, uh, like a, 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 yeah. the uh, Apex guy as well, right? The Apex one? Yeah. yeah. The, the other well, thing so... is, is that uh, he doesn't have a vision. Uh, That's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. Mm -hmm. Farina, Archons have a fake vision, right? They're essentially, yeah. some, some of them sure, have fake vision. vision. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if Farina is, is a fake vision or a real vision. It's like left up in the air and we don't know. That's why it's so. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh my god! Man, I would that's cool, right? like that's why I mean, that's why like... I hope that she's not the Archon because that would be such a great point in her character where she's trying to fake her power, but she's not good at it because she's actually not the Archon. It would fit her character so well. That's why I kind of hope they're gonna yeah. do it. So I mean, I, 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 that only really works if like uh, if Nahida was lying to us, then that's the only way that would work, right? That she's not yes. an Archon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, at the end of the Arco quest, the person we talked to is Nuvalet. Like that's the that's the first time we talked to like a non Archon character at the end of the quest. I think mm -hmm. usually at the end of yeah, Arco quest, we always talk to the Archon. Yeah. So yeah. maybe, <laughs> no, maybe no, the did person didn't we, actually break. We did talk yeah, to Yaya yeah, before. We did. Yeah. Oh, you're before. right. You're right. Oh, okay. I mean, she's kind of. So what's the, the, what's the deal with the she giant? She also held the gnosis for a long time. So oh, what's the deal with the giant dragon skeleton? By the way, in Fontaine, is that the previous dragon Archon? I don't know. I'm the I don't know. Maybe it's a giant fish. <laughs> I got no fucking oh, idea. Oh, do we actually not know? Is there no lore? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to bat here real quick. First of all, I have no idea, and uh, I'm getting pissed off. I'm gonna just keep it a buck, okay? There is too much uh, Farina slander going on right now because I am going to say <laughs> yeah. she is the best Archon of all time, and I'm also gonna go double down. I'm gonna say she is the best character in Genshin Impact history, and the reason why that is is because she has so much depth. She has so many flaws. She has so many insecurities. She has so much personality. It is so goddamn refreshing. Every single time she's on the screen, I can barely think about anything else other than how captivating of a character that she is. The split personality being like, oh God, do they know I'm a dumbass? I know. <laughs> I'll say this really cool thing now. Look at how she's like a, she's awesome like a YouTuber. I am. She's like a YouTuber, but I actually. so much. I she compared honestly, her. The best. I compared like her to Papyrus. More annoying. What? Wait, Papyrus? No, she, 
from she's Unreal? like papyrus because especially in act two she's basically papyrus because everyone is kind of like you know doing the trial no one no one's paying attention to her and then she's like ah well actually it's gotta be like this and then you're wrong because this is happening and then this is happening and then everyone turns around from her and she's like haha i'm out and then she walks away <laughs> and everyone ignores her she's exactly like papyrus she's so, there she's so patronizing i love it she is and she's a, she's and a, everyone ignores her she's a baby bro like she realized that she was wrong in the court trial and then she's like okay Okay, well, I'll just leave, and then Nuvalet's like, "No, no, no! <laughs> Where the you hell are, are you gonna going? Stay! You are gonna <laughs> stay, to... and you're gonna you're gonna see all the mess that you caused, bro. Yeah. She is so much goddamn fun. Her design looks incredible. I love the teardrop mm -hmm. eyes. Uh, the, what is it? What is it, like the, the chromia, the heterochromia? Uh, yeah. looks yeah. beautiful. Um, I, I I love everything about the character. I ha I have a take about Farina. I think a lot of people are. So they don't like her because she sounds annoying because of her brattiness. Mm. But, like, part of it's, like, they made her design as a childish character to begin yeah. with. So yeah. it's, mm -hmm. like, can you That's really point, get yeah. upset with the insecurities and annoyance of a child? But then mm. because it's mm. annoying, like, because she has that, like you said, it's refreshing. It's, like, fun. It's very refreshing. Yeah, it's yeah, new. Because the majority of personalities, okay, I'm just going to keep it a buck. Okay, you have a bunch of dudes, and I don't know how Nuvulet delivers, because I love Nuvulet a lot. He is incredible. Like, like I'll be real, but he shit on everybody else. Okay, F Farina's my number yeah. one female favorite character. Uh, Nuvulet's my number, uh, my favorite number one male character. Like, they blew it out of the water. I never thought I would like someone more than Ido, uh, or shit, even though, let alone Kazuha, but Nuvulet is incredible. Uh, mm -hmm. But, dude, like, oh my god, Farina, uh, she's just so funny because the majority of characters especially female characters are like oh man oh i just really want to be nice to the main character oh my god yeah, he, he, they are it. so cool but for uh, me, hold on yeah go ahead. Huh? what i mean hold on connected to like what people think is annoying right yes you as the main paimon hater i paimon <laughs> what's your take on paimon in fontaine though? like I take take on paimon in fontaine unironically <laughs> yeah. i thought it was very funny when paimon was labeled as a balloon I thought that was very funny. <laughs> um, she only recapped annoyingly, Ooh. I think twice. She's she's yes. a little bit, she's she's better. She is better yep. in Fontaine. <laughs> but that being said, I mean, holy f bro, it's just so high pitched. It just gives me a f headache, bro. I'll just keep it a box. She too. became smarter, and I kind of appreciate it when she was yeah. like cracking the case yes. and like she actually brought up good points. I was like, yeah, actually useful. Yeah. yeah, like the only she, character that was bad this update is the traveler. Like, I think I the problem. I think the problem is she just needs glasses. When she wears glasses, she's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we're... she's she's a pretty damn good. Uh, she's 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 made a big improvement. She's definitely made a big improvement. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's keep yeah. going. Uh, Eeks, who's your favorite character in Fontaine? Um, yeah, like if you say I... Lene, you're farming. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, um, okay, okay, yeah. I didn't think Navia was going to be as important of a character as she is. Yep. True. Like in all the trailers and stuff, I thought she was going to be like a, like an Ido or like, a, like Hu Tao, you know, where they're like a pretty cool character, but they're not exactly important yeah, to the main story. And I'm like super happy with how like involved she is. I mean, it's pretty much all about her almost uh at least it's tied to her um yeah. so honestly right now i gotta say navia she's like really charming and the emotional scenes where she's like she's crying and stuff like uh so i, I really like her a lot and then nuvalet yes i'm on the i'm on the nuvalet train as well i thought he was just gonna be like a stoic kind of you know just maybe a little asshole he's like all about the he's all about the law and there wasn't that much depth to him because just like uh necro i don't look at anything like leak related uh yeah. so I, I just saw him as like he's a court guy and oh he doesn't have a vision yeah i can see he might be bishop and economy related but uh i just i thought his personality wouldn't be that cool but it's honestly super sick how he's like still learning more about himself right like we don't really see character growth that much in Genshin, uh at least from non Archon characters, so wink, wink. But um, 
yeah, it's cool seeing him grow. So those are my two favorite right now, definitely. Yeah, Navia I kind of like, I kind of like that they 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 give him a little little twist because someone like Raiden, she was always seen like the almighty, powerful. You know, she could do everything. Yep. And then at the end of the of part two, um, we learned that he doesn't even know like how the machine works for for the justice. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> Uh, and I like and I like that twist. Like now you have like a really powerful guy, but he has a flaw, and now like it feels like he can be threatened, and and that wasn't really explored before. Yeah. Uh, also, I will say, uh, Eeks, I am so sorry, but uh, Navia is a Geo user, so I just want to break that news to you. I am hey, so hey. sorry. She's gonna be the first Geo character to come out in like yeah. a year, over a year and a half. Since yeah. so I'm on the I'm on the full. Like extra strength military grade copium yeah, that is gonna, gonna be the best geo character we've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I'm really <laughs> hoping that she she brings some like refreshing newness to mm -hmm. the geo because like there's oh. only eight. We only have eight. I am so. I am going to die yeah. if she's not a five star. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna also, laugh. she looks like <laughs> my chat I'm hates it, but I I always bring it up when I talk about Navia. She looks like Auto in Auto Apocalypse in in a dress. What? I thought she people did. were going like Navia is like Taylor Swift, <laughs> and then Tartaglia is like I don't know Ed Sheeran or something. Yeah. Right? Also, free my but... man Tartaglia. Okay, boy is still locked Aww. up. Gonna be locked up for six more weeks. I mean, he is rotten in that prison cell. It's a damn shame. <laughs> All because of a machine. I know, yeah. man. Why do you think it? Why do you think it thinks he's guilty? Because he is. I think, I think, I think he's like a fly piece of shit war criminal, or because he is, man. Because he is. Totally he's is guilty of dude. other things. Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody suggested this in my chat yesterday about this specifically. I thought it was very interesting. Now this is a little bit lower, but I won't go into too much detail. Somebody said, you know how that machine seems to apparently have, like, the power that's attached to the gods or whatever? Yeah. Like, the mm -hmm. Celestia or whatever? Not Celestia, mm -hmm. but just gods in general. They said maybe it kind of, like, reacted up to the opposite of Tartaglia because the Abyssal transformation that he was doing, the Foul Legacy, it was the opposite of the gods' power from the Abyss. Mm -hmm. And I was like... That could be the case. We don't have much evidence for it, but I can maybe see that's very interesting plotline because the power is like opposite. Because not only that, we already know in Fontaine we got that new arc mechanic, the light and dark system that was mm -hmm. in the overworld. So I was like, yeah. oh, maybe. I, I think that could, was it pretty just, interesting. could it just see him as guilty because he's using the power of the abyss just by yeah, default? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's by default, it's right? Because like he's using <laughs> elemental power. He's fabricating right. the power of the gods. I don't, yeah. I don't like that very much. <laughs> I'll be real. I don't really give a about Tartalia because he got bitched in one hit by New Galette. <laughs> like, that boy got that was so out. sick. Yo. Oh my yeah. god. That was the coolest thing. Boy oh got god. put in the dirt. <laughs> the the burden was yeah. that boy was a pussy. You wait until they try and <laughs> yeah. the Also, speaking of cool cutscenes, can we talk about how cool uh, that was that was such a mind blowing one. When you when you first uh went into the dream, uh you talked to the, the Oceanid Mm -hmm. And then you came back the project from, from the coma. Oh, dude, that <laughs> blew me away. Fight. Yeah. That fight felt more like a fight than the war of Inazuma. Yes! Yeah, that oh was so great. Yeah. That was a, like, such a good twist. It's a really that, cool... <laughs> the reason why they did that, it's actually a storytelling device uh, that I did a lot in theater, which is where when you want to give the audience a very important clue, but you want them to forget about it, you like do like a weird, oh. ominous little thing, and then... Holy shit, what's happening? To make it go to the back of their brain and focus on the forefront. That way, when we go back to it, you realize how important it was. Oh, uh, wow. But yeah, no, I, I love shit like that. It's super, super, super cool. Sorry, Cody, you were saying that something? That is very cool. Yeah, Travel so didn't do anything, though. Like, he could have not wake up and the result would be the same. He just woke yep. up to see two people carried him. Yeah. But at least we got to see Chlorine's button, so, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting for his life. Yeah. Yeah, I'm confused. And those buttons on her is, shirt. Is anybody here going to talk about chlorine or what's going on? Oh here, my guys? god, those no. so are holding she... on for dear life. Okay. Yo, Brax, Brax, is she is she your favorite character or who are your favorite character, Fontaine? Oh, actually, it's probably it's probably Farina, just because she's a brat and it's hilarious. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. but Chlorine, I'm really excited for her. Um, truthfully, I I have to I have to admit something to you guys. 
Yeah. I have not finished the quest. I tried. Last night, I right. stayed up so late. I, oh, listen, no, I've already no. had it spoiled for me by other people. So you guys aren't... <laughs> You guys aren't doing anything, but oh, so okay. far, yeah, so far, Farina, definitely my favorite character out of so there. Is did, she's so. What do you think about when she dies? Why? Now I don't know. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Broke the I control. thought you liked Farina. Stop. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> how far did you? How, how far did you get actually? I'm at like the beginning of, or not the beginning. I'm like a little past the beginning of Act Two. Damn it, so, because there were so many twists that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. No, just hey, go you know, the spoiler. Spoiler. We're spoiler. talking is about them anyways. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is it, I, I I it. Into, it's fine. Is it fine if I just spoil the very, very, very end? Yes, you can yeah. spoil everything. Okay. We... Because uh, there is one thing that I love about this. And the end again, I'm a guy who kinda I like mortality in games, alright? I like when they kill characters. It makes everything important when yep. characters die. Yes. I like how Genshin went from being afraid to kill anything. Like, anything. There are so yeah. few characters in this giant world that actually died. And they went from this into going into a drug addict zen, going yes. through the, the clothes of, like, dead girls. And then you go back for the, into, to the guy who gets murdered by, the freaking, by his own victims. And I'm like, yeah. well, this blew me away. Dude, yeah, that but, was so cool. Genshin, Genshin killed mm -hmm. the character though, but it's mainly like the NPC you meet for yeah. like 30 minutes. Yeah, and exactly. And that's dying sucks, all the time. You never get attached. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you never get attached. You I think the thing, randomly... that blew, the thing that blew my mind even more than the killing in this was the the they talked about sex that people don't want with uh, Arlecchino mm -hmm. when they brought that shit up. When they were like, "Oh yeah, the noble took all of the like the orphan children." Into yeah, like that, a sex true. ring, I was like, "Bro, what the f going on?" And then Arlecchino like kills the f noble, and then the kids remember her face like coated in blood. I was like, "Holy, f this character is hard as shit." Uh, do you think? Do you think they are? They realize that like the Genshin audience is getting older over time, and they are like, you know what? I th maybe we can go into like those. Topics. Can handle it. <laughs> they, I mean, they've been raising the. Age they are fifteen the now. Games. They can handle it. <laughs> they've been raising the age rating oh, for no. the other games. Yeah, recently. like Zenless Zone Zero <laughs> is gonna be sixteen. Really? Up. Yep. Oh, yeah. serious? Nice. Yeah. Dude, have you have you seen Have you seen Nicole and Zenless Zone Zero? Uh, no. I need to switch that up now. Look up Nicole. Physics Zemazon sliders Zero. all the way. Bro. I'm, dude, I'm not kidding you, Kettle. It is the most gratuitous fan service character I've ever oh, seen. Oh, she's <laughs> My God. Yep. Oh, oh, God. Shit. Yep. She is you click on the menu and if you, go through the menu. Her, she has a lot of... Uh, her, dude, her menu I'm animations. Shy just looking at her. Her menu animations are like, here's an ass shot. Look at it jiggle. Here's a tit shot. Watch him <laughs> flop just, around. Like, flipping around. It is ridiculous. And yeah. also, also, Zelda Zone Zero is a furry's paradise. I cannot oh. wait for that. Game. Well, not that I'm a furry, but I just can't wait for Zelda Zone Zero. But that game's gonna be so goddamn <laughs> good. One. All right, so I want to go on to something else because there's been a little bit of controversy with what's going on, and I want to just talk about it. Maybe we have some insight. Um, is the water MC the worst character ever made or no? Yes. Um, yes. 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 Yeah. You, come on. I think so. Dude, yeah. I, no. dude yeah. I, 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 I spent like. I mean, at least Aloy minutes. has team comms. I spent like three <laughs> minutes, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I spent like three minutes trying to like get the alt energy for the main MC. I thought it was going to be some crazy shit. The E, the push button, the. What is it? The, almost like a. Hydro pump move that he, she's, yeah. got, she's got. That was cool. The water goal was mm -hmm. funny. I thought it was a meme. Was, I went mm -hmm. to try to try to alt. That was the most underwhelming shit I've ever seen in a in my <laughs> life. I was like, yo, there's got to be some way to use this. I'm just stupid. I need to talk to a meta person. Brax, tell me, is this trash? I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> Open <laughs> see. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to turn it into if a you can't be saved by every good support in the game. I don't know. I it's it's kind of dude i'm i'm telling you right now i will make the water mc viable because when they have three sub dps c6 r5 units behind them <laughs> i will make them work okay <laughs> i will make them work and i'm not gonna make them hyper boom either i'm gonna make them pop the f off with electro and vaporize i'm gonna make them do it's gonna be like a goddamn piccolo special beam cannon it is gonna be so <laughs> sick i actually can't wait uh but yeah i just wanted to go to yeah, they're, they're terrible. also Uvi, did you say who your favorite character was 
pretty much all of them, but I think Farina, the new Valette, and then Navia. Yeah. 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 I, I am I am shocked, and this will lead me into my next topic. Um I'm not sure if we saw all of the the backlash and the controversy for and this will be the last time we talk about controversy this podcast, by the way. Uh just figured I'd just bring it up. Um the the Lene backlash for Korean Genshin Impact was insane. Uh the trailer had more dislikes than it had likes, and people were oh. saying we don't like weak, weak men in our game. Uh I was going into uh Genshin Impact 4.0, uh, and I did not like Lene just because well, I, I'll just be real. He just looked like a little kid. And I'm like, I don't care. But then after playing the story uh, for Lene, I had to pull him because I enjoyed his story quest. I enjoyed his lore so much that I actually love the character now. I find his kit very enjoyable, as well as like the little cats that he summons are very, very, very fun. I have three cats. So I love that aspect of his kit. But I am curious, uh, do any of y'all have any strong opinions, positive or negative, that you'd like to share with Lene? Or what's going on? I think mean, he was, he, he was pretty much over the crib. All right, for me, he was pretty much boring until you learned about the, the the house of the hearth or whatever it's called. Like from from that point on, once you learn about his background, that's when he that's when he started getting getting interesting. Yeah. Before that, he was kind of like a guy doing magic magic tricks. Speaking of which. Am I the only guy who thinks that, like, faking magic tricks in a video game or in a fantasy setting is just boring? Yeah, it's, it's like, not, when like, you're it's watching expected, a real right? magic show, it's because they are actually, like, real, like, they are faking magic. Yep. Yeah. If it's in a video game, you can, you can code uh, right? <laughs> Yelan coming out of his ass, and you can do it because it's a video game. <laughs> it's also like, oh my god, did Lene attach a string to Paimon when they weren't looking when, like, Zhongli's a Dragon, can yeah. summon a meteor <laughs> from the sky? Yeah. Wait, someone a phoenix? How is it possible? How are they doing that? It's like, okay, <laughs> literally, I think Kazuha disappears when he does his charged attack animation. Like, Kimika it, has a literal tail. Yeah, it's like, I mean, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, I wasn't really biting my nails there. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. but, but after you learn the background, that's a cool character. Before that, not one of the strongest ones. Yeah, Kettle, you said you think mm -hmm. you had uh, something to say about uh, Lene? Oh, I, I was just curious. What well, what actually was the controversy? I never quite heard about. Uh, it. So pretty much, they didn't like they didn't like Lene because he looked like a weak man. Uh, they didn't like oh. that. And then there was a bunch of transphobic and homophobic comments made about Lene because oh. yeah, if, if you like if you like uh, Lene, quote unquote, not my words. Apparently, if you like Lene, you that you're gay, uh, and that was what pretty much what fuck? was said in the comments. It was really bad, really, 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 That's really so bad. Fucked up. Yeah, no, That's it was nasty. Yeah, it was awful. I'm not sure if you guys, you know, guys know the game called Limbus Company or something. Yep, I, think it's I know also Limbus. A Korean oh my god, no! Yeah, yeah. yeah the drama about it is like I think the Korean player base got them to <laughs> fire a lot of female employees because the game has been releasing too much male characters or something. Yep. So it's I... of like this one. Where I'm a Genshin Korean. Has been releasing so a lot of <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, Alan? Your thoughts? I'm very. I I'm in tune with. The whole stuff that's going on with this and with Limbus Company because I'm Korean and I know a lot of their stuff. There, I don't want to talk bad about my country, of but course. there is a obvious issue, in my personal opinion, mm. and that is the idea of gender equality, which is very sensitive topic in Korea specifically. It's just a like an entire national thing, and that's where a lot of these problems stems from from transphobia stuff. So like it's very unfortunate to see as a Korean myself. Yeah, I did not but... know. I did not know about any of this at all. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of rough, but I try to avoid it as much as I can because you know these kind of topics can get very sensitive. It's yeah, for for sure. Yeah. Hey, don't say anything that you're uncomfortable with. I just thought it was a shame because uh, there was so much backlash for Lene, and uh, you know when you hear that much negativity, I was like, okay, well Lene must be mid. But then I actually tried him, and he was very fucking nice. Yeah, uh, love his cool. kit, love his story. Yeah, I think his pants are stupid. But other than that, I mean, I think he's a pretty fucking yeah. cool character. I'll also say it. I, I will just say this, okay? I also really didn't like Lynette because she's just super boring and she's super emotionless. And then I really thought about why that is. And a lot of people who experience severe trauma when they are a child, it, it lasts, right? And so now I understand the reason why she's so 
withheld, so introverted, so not outgoing is because, I mean, it's still haunting her. So I think we are going to see a lot more growth with Lynette when our Lucino comes out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people are giving uh, Lynette shit for not having a personality, but it actually makes sense character-wise, uh, which is very, very rare that a game actually makes sense. Like, oh, this character isn't this quiet, reserved character because it's cool to be quiet. It's because she's f***ed up. Like, she is f***ed up. I agree, yeah, because yeah, I feel like she, she, if if she was, like, more, had more personality, it would kind of overshadow what Linny was talking about, because obviously Linny was, like, the storyteller of the that part of the quest. Yep. Mm. It also reminds me of the great magician duo Penn and Teller, where yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. one talks That's a lot, right. the other one talks not at all, which is a really cool, because I, I love those two. So it, it's a cool little, uh, I guess, uh, yeah. juxtaposition. Uh, okay, well, let's move on from Lene. Uh, I think Lene deserves more people's appreciation. I think they're actually a very good character. Uh, next, I want to talk about the zone of Fontaine. Has anything particularly blown your mind, or has anything particularly left you wanting more? Is there anything that y'all feel strongly about? If you want to say something, Oofy, you can start. I got to explore yet. You haven't explored? <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, uh, is there anybody right, should, here? Should I take over? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it reminds me of Grizzly Hills, and I am the happiest man. Dude, I thought I was the only person who noticed that, bro. I love. I Hills. love that zone. I just love because I like I liked Mondstadt out of all the regions. It's just green, simple, cool, very zen. And then this is the same, except I love the spiky hills because that that that's kind of what's giving this the iconic mm -hmm. shape. It's because every zone has a different shape from from the environmental design. They are going for like very very edgy and ironically, you know, very very very, very spiky. When it comes to the music, I'm a big music nerd. Yep. Um, they are actually imitating uh, John Williams. I don't know if anyone of uh, any of you noticed. No. If you're if you're a fan of Star Wars, um. O old Star Wars, the old movies. They are using the little trumpets for um, transitions between scenes. Every time there's like the old school wipe, and then there is like like a, like a little trumpet. They are using the exact same thing at the end every time a soundtrack loops. So they 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 are really going into like very classical themes, and that's not just you know it's 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 French, and there is freaking French references everywhere, and you know with the names as well. But it's it's also in the music. I could talk about the music for a very long time. But yeah. yeah <laughs> Okay, so they are also using the tag they used in in Mario Odyssey, where in Mario Odyssey, if you if you walk around and you do anything, you're gonna hear music. The moment you uh, throw your head and you turn into something else, you're gonna hear the exact same music, except it is layered in a different style. Mm. They are using the exact same thing in Fontaine, where you can hear the soundtrack. The moment you jump into water, it doesn't transition into a different soundtrack. It is the exact same soundtrack, except on top of that, you just layer a different version of it, so it seamlessly transitions into a muted version with different instruments. It's absolutely genius, and it gives just swimming around so much life. That's my take. So my problem, my problem with the music is, you'll be walking around the main, uh, the main building, the main area, the main city, and this beautiful song will be playing, and it's very fun, it's very nice, and then it'll just go silent for like minutes oh, yeah. on minutes. Like three minutes yeah. And I'm just like, why in the, like, why the f do they do that? I, I that honestly, is most I don't likely get a it. bug. That is most likely a bug where at the end of the soundtrack, they don't have a cutoff point, and they just like finishes the soundtrack without any transition. I'm pretty sure they'll, they're, they, they will probably fix that. Yeah, it's only been three years. I mean, they're an indie company. They'll get around to it eventually. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, guys, it'll be fixed, okay? Just like, I you know. I don't think any soundtrack continuously play in Genshin forever, though. They always, like, get a stop off point and then silence yeah. and then start again. But, but the stop off yeah. point, there's, like, a little... Uh, it, it's short. In Fontaine, for no reason at all, it's, like, 10 seconds long. It's more than that, bro. I was literally just, like, yeah. I did a whole bit where I was just like, huh. Huh. So, guys, um, <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> it's just like, it was so fucking it awkward. long. It, it actually is a awkward amount of time. I, I, I don't yeah. like it at all. Uh, Speaking I, of awkward, hmm? I like how they are actually using the music and not using the music when I love the scene where you go into the into the opera house and, you know, Nubile is, sit is sitting there in the front seat. And Paimon is talking to him, and there's just awkward silence and nothing. And you can only hear the echo of Paimon's voice. Mr. Pokey, it's thank so you for the well Appreciate it, bro. Uh, yo, follow the channel. 
Yeah, no, Paimon has done some very, uh, very weird shit. As well as when you have the story on autoplay, uh, and then somebody finishes talking, and then you just, and it just won't yep. autoplay, and you're just like, yeah. So, yeah, that, I don't know why that happens. <laughs> yeah, it's awful, bro. It's yep. awful. Now, that being said, I do want to say an area that I think is very underrated. Uh, but I love the under... Because Fontaine's very beautiful, you know? Open city, very nice, beautiful landscapes with spiky hills, boats flying, water, underground, beautiful neon colors, all that shit. But the underground area where, like, all, like, the quote-unquote poor people live, where, like, Navia is... The sewers? And, like, boss, the sewers, man. That I fucking good. love the sewers. Yeah. It is so... Cool. Uh, it reminds me a lot of an area from, uh, I believe it's Dark Souls 1, where you have to go through uh, sewers and rats, and then you unlock this one ring because I was bad at the game and I needed an upgrade. But regardless. I was for sure you're going to say Pilt Over and Zon, but like, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that too. Pilt Over and Zon. Listen, man, I, I'm, I'm not as far brain rotted with League uh, as you are, man. I I, think, I'm uh, a Dark Souls guy. Also, are you guys going to play Armored Core? Maybe. Wait, hold up. Yeah, it's coming out soon. Armored Core and Lies of Fear coming should out be, soon. Should be right around the corner. Oh, I didn't I really just soon. remember something about Fontaine. You guys what remember the that? Fontaine trailer, right? Yeah. The Fontaine yeah. trailer. Remember yeah. the cubes of water in the sky that they advertised we can go in? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, path, they're right? right outside. Yeah, the is cubes? it like false advertising then? Yeah, like, yeah. We can't go there this fast. <laughs> have they done this before, actually? Because I was, <laughs> I I was asking my chat. I don't know. know. Like, have... Yeah, is I was so confused where... Yeah, we can't go in the uh, the water cubes, right? Yep. Like, even yeah, though it was yeah, in the trailer. Dude, it also ah. looks straight out of Sonic Frontiers. I'm not sure if y'all noticed that. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly that. That. What were you going to say, Cuddle? Ah, yeah. uh, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, anybody else have a particularly favorite area from Fontaine they want to talk about or bring attention to that people can go check out or completely avoid? Uh, it depends on how far. You know, I wanted to go back real quick on what yeah. you said about that the uh, Navia place. I, I, I forgot the name of it. The underground Sewers. place, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope I loved it by the way. It was like so cool. But I really hope that's not the end of it. It is. Yeah. I mean is it like a tool they're just using for the main main quest yeah. and that's it? Ugh. Yeah. It's no, I don't think so. I don't think so because when we when we'll get child out of the prison, we'll probably have to break him out and we're we're gonna run away we're gonna oh. escape through the sewers. Yeah, but you're also oh. the guy who also thinks Genshin Impact's gonna fix their soundtrack bug, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <That's laughs> <amazing. laughs> I think it's more fun than we'll just let Tartaglia sit in jail, to be honest. Yep. <laughs> He'll like, break we've done himself. enough jailbreaking in Genshin. Like, I don't know how many also, times we've we done it. Also, what are the chances that the giant tower is actually the prison? Uh, Very there's, if you, if you, if, yeah. if you look into the distance, you can actually see the giant tower, which I guess is the fortress, because what else would it, or, or where oh. else would it be? Yeah, um, the water cubes. <laughs> yeah, good that would be a good yeah, reason, it... to be fair. To be fair, the water cubes. Really I thought they said it was the prison. Like, I thought was I, I don't remember know. reading that. They were like, whenever a criminal does something, we take them here. Which, obviously, it's for the, the court. But it also sounded like just all prisoners go there. But maybe, I'm, right. maybe I'm driven. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing this, but like they keep mentioning about the duelist arena, but I can't find it. Am I crazy or something? Uh, I cannot find oh, it either. No. I have not found That's it. That's gonna be an event. No, yeah, that, that would make sense. Be. Yeah, be bus, bus rush, rush like event. It. Dude, it might be. It might be where you fight the dancing. Uh, it could be, yeah. I think that was because it's right by the court, though. and then that's yeah, just like a probably. guy doing a. Oh yeah, there's yeah. a chair there. Right? Like, oh, there's, there's, there's like so a maybe chair in the story there. they obviously the robots leave, and then that's the arena. But maybe. I was gonna no, say if, the, it was the, a, if it was an event, it was was an event those two robots though. where you could like PVP in there, that would be sick. But there's no way that's gonna happen. So no, I mean, yeah, the PVP's not happening at all. That's a damn shame. What the only PVP you get is Twitter. I know, like, like, I, don't I know. know. <laughs> Character oh, you mean something. X. Oh my god. Yeah, it's yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you, you type, like, this character is ass on Twitter, and it's like a turn-based combat where the argument's flowing, you know? <laughs> oh, That's how you PvP. <laughs> if, if you think it's bad now, Elon released a balance patch yesterday where they're actually oh, no. buffing. Oh, they're actually god. buffing any person who harasses people on the internet, <laughs> yeah. and they're taking yeah, oh, well, the ability to anymore. block. No, uh, he, he's not legally allowed to do that, though. You need the flock function to be on Apple and Play Store. So yeah, if he well, doesn't, wow. he just has to take down these platforms. Well, we'll yeah. say 
Okay, if they take. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if if it became pay to win and you had to pay to unlock the ability to block. Oh my! God. You know why Elon <laughs> is trying to remove the ability to block people? I think someone in the back end told him that you, he's the most blocked person in like X. He is I'm actually. Pretty sure. I'm pretty is. sure. Is he actually? Yes, he is. Yeah, he, he is. is. <laughs> he's the most blocked person in the platform. That is amazing. Twitter is is kind of like it's a high point funny. like that. People, there's a lot of people that do not fucking like that guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is wild. Oh my god. Huh. I never did. Okay. Well, that's nuts. Also, uh, any of y'all fight the uh, 20 million HP uh, fat blob boss from yes, Big Hero 6? Yes. 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 Oh, dude. I got I murdered. I once tried it with Dia, but my Dia is unfair, so. Shut uh -oh. the fuck up, Cut. I hate you, bro. <laughs> I hate this guy, dude. Jesus Christ. What is it? Dude, what is this it? guy with his 50 crit, crit value. Crit, crit damage, bro. Oh, my yeah. God. Why, why did they like, put that in there? This, <laughs> uh, there's, like, multiple different, like, mini hidden bosses you can find around Fontaine. I was, I think I, really I was cool. just swimming, I and I found, like, a really fat seal that was, like, a boss fight. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cute. I'll be real. It's neat. I, I bought it. Thing, but like now when I fight things and it takes me a while, I'm like, how the f anybody else doing this? Like, if yeah. I, I like if I'm not killing this in three Maybe seconds, you're not as cool as you believe. Yeah, totally. have you see my account, bro. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> okay, Actually, you should, no. You should check it out sometimes, man. It is. It's ridiculous. I don't think it's as good as codes, but I, for a guy who took 10 months off, it is it is nuts. And actually, a true you... 10 months off. I don't mean like a temp task, take a month off and think about it. Like, I mean, like, I was, I didn't open the game. <laughs> I didn't even think about it for 10 months. It was nice. What were you saying, code? Um, my Genshin gameplay is the same with my Honkai Toro gameplay. It's like the auto button. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's Yo, go on to the yeah. next. I want to talk about everybody's feelings on swimming. Did we know? The... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Brax. Do you mind if I talk about the music real quick? Because I wanted to bounce off Nick. Right? But, uh, yep. uh, so the the Star Wars thing, or the, the John Williams thing, is like a really good point. One thing that I loved about it, so I, my name is Braxophone. I play saxophone, right? Mm, the, no saxophone's not what? typically <laughs> in. I know, it's no, crazy, what? right? Um, saxophone's not typically in like orchestra and stuff. So we haven't seen it in Genshin. We've seen it in demos and stuff, but like never like, actually in Genshin. But they have a Barry Sax playing a solo over like most of the Fontaine music. And it's freaking incredible. And like, like me as like a as a saxophone player, I was like, I feel like, like wow, wow, this is this is fucking amazing. And the other the other thing is, um, the battle music reminds me very much of Final Fantasy and like Pokemon themes. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you get into it, it's that that like driving motor that dun 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 dun. Yeah, yeah it's dun, very dun, driven. Uh, it's you know, very that driven thing. by one <laughs> instrument that carries it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and you can like. I, for the battle music, I can really imagine, like, you could literally just start any Pokemon battle theme, like, right after the intro, and yeah. it would work perfectly. <laughs> so I really like, th the feeling of the region feels, like, completely different from everything else, uh, just because of, like, how they did the music and stuff. I think it's incredible. I wonder if it's a reference to just French jazz, because th th that's kind of the vibes I'm getting. They, it's just jazz everywhere, and you're just, like, it, it, they just try and shove it into places because it makes sense for the region. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Well, what's actually really interesting um, on the saxophone thing specifically is that uh, a lot of like the best classical saxophonists came from France. And saxophone uh, initially, like, I, I wouldn't even call what the what the Barry sax is playing like jazz, right? Like, it's like thematically jazz, right? But it's like a very classical sound. It's really it's really interesting how in touch with like classical like french instrumentation and like french music history this entire region is because like i'm oh my mind is always fucking blown by it by the soundtracks in this fucking game but they is pop the, the is the game. is the fatui theme normally played by sex as well because Guys, i think please when 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 child in got slapped this, into the ground uh, podcast, or actually when he was when he was using his people. power they, they the channels, covered please, the fatui the time. theme uh, uh, using the same instruments they did in, in fontaine uh, really and i just i thought it was absolutely genius and also if you have to listen to that again i don't remember like to sub as well that was a really cool cover there glad you're enjoying it i'll have to go back and listen to the instrumentation oh yeah the music is good as uh, especially underwater. Uh, <laughs> going on to the next one. I wonder about swimming. What about swimming real quick? Uh, have you all seen the dolphin dive for the Fontaine characters? Yeah. It's a shame. Why, why can't anyone do, do that? I know. It's, it's bullshit. Okay. I don't understand. Pay to win. How Actual the... pay to win. No, I won millions of <laughs> degree. Why the f can Lene, a little pussy boy magician, do that? And <laughs> Kokomi, a literal f mermaid, yep. can't do it. <laughs> 
Like, with oh. hydro element of all things. Like, holy shit. Dude, Kokomi should be able to strap two jellyfish on her back and use them as a <laughs> rocket jetpack. Like, but she's just like, oh. Why oh. isn't the Wanderer <laughs> using the little engines as propellers? I know. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. I know. No. I'll be honest, Kokomi oh should be able to walk on water infinitely. I don't know why yeah. she can only do that when she's yes. like, yep, make yeah. her walk on water infinitely. It's it not going to change passing. anything. Yep. Uh, also, I did not realize how much I would hate Scaramouche when I played the game. I came back really? and he was just, Come on. Oh bro, oh my god, what a horrible, unlikable character. Like, a, I, 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 when I use him, I'm just like, oh my god, this guy sucks. Like, That's the point <laughs> of the character, though. Yeah. Okay, there's a the difference yeah, between like, him sucking oh, and him oh, sucking oh, on oh. purpose. Okay, Wait, why? If the point, I feel like it's a gimmick. No, he's just such a little bitch. Like, oh my <laughs> god! Like, even even the way when you like you put him on the you put him on the team and he's like, oh god, you really want me to do this? Oh, okay, whatever. Like, good god, <laughs> yeah, like you love Farina gonna start... do the same thing? <laughs> no, yeah, because when Farina like, does it, it's charming. When Farina does it, it's charming. When Scaramouche does it, I want to hit him. Okay, there's a big <laughs> difference. It's 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 like <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. It's the whole female thing. Female good. It's the point. <laughs> of the character. No, 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 That's not what it is. It's like saying, oh, the point of going to Britain is to get stabbed. Okay, if I were to get stabbed, it would still <laughs> suck. Okay, Scaramouche, oh my god, he's so awful, bro. Like, uh, isn't Farina just, like, a less it. adorable official? Like, they would be best I friends. Like, I mean, I they would be. a bit more annoying. Yeah, I I, I also why. find Fischl a little bit more. Annoying. No, because because Fischl yeah. takes the piss. Fischl takes the piss, and she's like, "Oh, my like, eternal retinue!" Like she talks in this goofy ass <laughs> fucking <laughs> I love it so bullshit. Much. But trust me, I, mean, uh, I think I think I think she's a great character. But uh, no, oh, yeah. like, Scaramouche is a little bitch boy. Uh, anyways, we all agree, <laughs> right, guys? Okay, swimming. <laughs> What are we doing? It's off like multiple fan bases. That's, that's cool. getting clipped and hey, taken out of context. Ask later. me if I give. Oh, dude, I hate this whole thing where people say, oh, if you don't like a character, that's drama. Oh, what? Is Scaramouche going to be angry at me? Okay, is Jing Yuan going to get angry at me because I called him mid? No, they don't. Care. I have my takes on Hu Tao. I, I, I think Jing Yuan is a different discussion. <laughs> Whenever you want to have it, let me know. I would love to talk about that code. I uh, think it's perfectly acceptable to not like a character, honestly. Now, that being said, I mean, right. it was cool when I was like, oh, I love Farina. And then Twitter was like, oh, my God, Tectone likes Farina? That's how you know she must be a good character. I was like, okay, dude, shut the what? fuck up. I get that all the <laughs> If I enjoy anything in this game, even a little bit, I, the comment is, oh, my God, if Tectone enjoys it, it must be good. Because apparently I'm so miserable. If I like anything, it must be, like, outrageously good. It's so funny. Uh, but, yeah, how are y'all feeling about the swimming so far? I swimming. thought it was going to be bad, but I'm very pleased. Do you want to talk about it, Alan? Swimming is, uh, to be honest, I might be an outlier here. Mm -hmm. It felt weird. I don't know what it was. It, it might just be going up and down. It is. It's, it's and... very slightly <laughs> sluggish. Yep. Yeah. There's I like get a delay, motion right? sickness yeah, yeah, yeah. from that. I, I, think, uh, I think the only thing that's weird about control about swimming is if you're trying to swim directly down and you hold w at the same time and you can never land it oh there is a there's like, a very slight uh when delay you want to swim turns, down you just have to hit control purpose. only yeah wait are you playing right now uh i might not be playing the... okay never mind <laughs> <laughs> Let me... okay no i'm not playing Baldur's gate relax i'm here 100 percent. it's okay <laughs> okay God. not like that down yeah. I don't know what it was. It was just like <laughs> he's the, gone. And then the, the combat was also kind of. I I felt it, like I was it's like, nerfed. I think it's intended though. Like the combat underwater is because we've done the same exploration for like four regions. So this one is like mm -hmm. okay, this is new. You don't get to play your character. You play a new mini yeah. game, and that yeah. that was but the it, point I think to like you know freshen up, right? I think they wanted to nerf us to be honest. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's it like. Oh. If you've been playing a game for a long time, like overworld content is like a walking simulator. And now it it's Fontaine, right. it's still a walking simulator, but you're underwater and everyone's the same. Swimming yeah, simulator. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. can, they put underwater in the game and took combat out, so that way you could listen to the music. So <laughs> 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 everything would just end in one second and you'd never be able to hear it. Wait, what did they do? <laughs> Talking no, about underwater saying. combat. Yeah, so yeah, they, um, they they made underwater combat good? hard, so that way you could listen to music, because otherwise you would just insta kill everything in Overworld. You yeah. Hear it. yeah, I mean, Blade. I unironically, I have no issue. This might be a bad take. I don't know what you guys think at all. I actually enjoy mm -hmm. the underwater combat. Um, 
Like, it is very simple. It's very straightforward. And I truly don't care. My new mindset for Genshin is I don't care about combat at all yeah. anymore. Like, I don't care. I even, think that's... Like, I don't, I don't even care 1%. Like at all. I think it's, you get to the point where you've experienced everything of the combat. Like you can't really go further from that. Exactly. Like, like I, I love the exploration now. Um, I love the characters. I love the story. I love the lore. Combat, I, I don't care because if I do care about it, I'm going to get depressed. So I don't give a f about it anymore. I don't. And I'm totally okay with that. That being said, Kazuo is the greatest character of all time, combat wise. He's the, he's the best. If I agree. Dude, if you haven't you're used so a C6 you got... Kazuha, you haven't lived. I, I only have C1, and he's still the GOAT. Does E1 have E, all E? Yes. That's the best. I love it. It's, <laughs> it's the best. so good. It's so, <laughs> so fucking good. It feels so good. It's so satisfying. It does. Clearly, Holy you've shit. never played a good Yai Miko. Yai Miko? <laughs> oh. Is she, is she, is she actually that crazy? Yai? I do uh, love Yai Miko. If you, if you, you get to the point where, oh, so C0 to C6, it's triple damage. I have her at C6. Yeah, so, well, that's what I was talking about, like, how my Genshin gameplay is the same with my Honkai Star gameplay. Mm. I don't play the game anymore. I just E three times with Yai Miko, swap to Dia so she doesn't die, and that's it. You actually use Dea? Yeah, I have a triple crown Dia, and Jin Yang and Candace and so on. What what don't you have, man? Go ahead, tell me. I have, well, I, well listen, I, I played most of, okay, I think, like, how I got popular in Genshin at the start is when I did the Jin Yang solo Abyss thing, no? Like, I, I played all the shitty character and I sold all Clear the Abyss with them. So. Is that how you got Popper? I thought you just got Popper because you're, like, smart. Huh? <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. I thought you were just a smart guy. You're like, oh, this guy's smart. All right, no, I just that. have basic reading comprehension. That's not smart. Like, sure, people sure. Don't read no, that's, that's smart. Like, sure. Smart. Code obviously has an alcohol problem. Okay? We're all aware of that. <laughs> but hey, I, I'm, I'm fine now. Yeah, it's been, like, I'm still, I'm still so new to the Genshin lore community. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I'm still. I'm, I'm willing to learn about you guys. That being oh, said, shit. I do want to make a little side note. I do love how like open up like the Genshin and Bat community is for the content creator space because there's new content mm -hmm. creators popping up like all the time. Like I, I think Nakrit. I mean, you you've you've really you know you've really been growing the Genshin and Bat space. It's been very cool. I, I had to. <laughs> I was forced yeah. here, all right? Well, it's like, it's like, for, like <laughs> if you make good content for Genshin, you will grow, like, 100%. That's I true, think, that's true. I think some other names have been noticing going around are uh, uh, Dordo44 and Bran nice. Online. I've seen pop up recently who uh, seem like great people. Uh, and that's been very, very, very nice to see. But, uh, yeah, it's been cool. There's kind of been, like, a, like a shift in, like, the names that I would use to see. Because for Gacha games, it was always, like, the same names. Like, it was, like, me, Fob, X, Lice, Code. And I would see those names all the time. And, and Envy. It, Envy was just Genshin. Before before Genshin, he was doing Super Mario. Uh, but like back in the like the Ark Knights days, the day before Ark Knights, and I'm probably like YDCB and Lakari. I mean, shit. Now even now even Asmund's playing Gacha. Uh, it's did very he nice. Lakari came back to Genshin recently. He dunked like a couple thousand dollars again. Did he? I I thought he did. I heard from Sai and stuff. Oh, I need I need to go check on him. I need to make sure he's okay. Uh, he he has a real problem, guys. Uh, if you guys no. can do me a favor, guys, don't watch the car when he plays Gotcha, guys. He has a mental illness and uh, he really needs help. And when you guys encourage him, it's not good for him. Uh, and Kuko is becoming very worried about him, guys. So just uh, you know, just support him when he plays Epic or well, not Epic, Street Fighter, guys. Sorry, Street Fighter. Thanks, guys. He's a weak, weak man. Uh, anyways, uh, what are, what are y'all's thoughts on the underwater combat? Or did y'all like it or no? Oh, I think it's nice. It's comfy. Like, it's a change of pace, obviously. And while well, the crap is a little bit too OP, I guess. The crap? Yeah, the, the crap's OP. The crap. Really? It's, I like the boss? Okay, well, you can do the crap with any anything, basically. The crap you power. Can the crap forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hit them for like 60k oh. and they both die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it scale it's with like anything? A or is it just flat, flat number? It's, it's, a, well, it's a flat number. It's like 55k, right? Like, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be a parry, but it's not. You can just hold your E until someone hits you and you release it and yeah. one shot to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I wish it was timed. I wish it was timed it's, sensitive. Yeah, it's, oh, a, it's an infinite but... parry timer, basically. So mm -hmm. you can just hold it. Also, if you play any female character, you hold E and see their ass, right? So that's why people play it. <laughs> I know, the sensor just goes away. The sensor goes yeah, away, the sensor yeah. goes away when you <laughs> use the crap. So on, I need yeah. to actually try. You talked about a sensor. I didn't even notice it. Hold on, I'm going to jump yeah. into it right the now. Yeah, the water sensor. Quick yeah, kick it, Chad. Dude, yeah, I'm look, sorry, you're not like the generous, but swim? the rest of the community is. It looks so bad. 
Like it actually looks so bad. I, I'm not a fan, man. Like, it's like distracting. actually distracting. It is. Like it is. Yeah. It, it it's. I, I don't know. I'm not that much of a coober where I would just be playing a character looking at their butt the whole time. I don't do that. Well, right. the thing is, they don't even <laughs> censor you like flying that much, right? Oh like, my god! Yeah. What the? Yeah. 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 Once you Where's see it, you sensor? can't unsee. It looks awful. Why did you show snap. me this? I know. I know. <laughs> no, you can't ah, unsee it. Awful. You yeah. can't unsee it. Now, I will also say, uh, for the gameplay, uh, like the, you know, solving puzzles in the comic. Yeah, go ahead. They covered Deluxe's ass as well? Yep. Yeah. Well, if they only did girls. That's right. Okay, that's right. That's right. Equality. So they have to do oh, every yeah. character. There yeah. will be war. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. For the gameplay so far, I am having a little bit of an issue with the puzzles where, like, it seems like everybody in the entire world gets how to do them except for me. Like, the oh, only no, reason... No, 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 no. I have a very You're strong thing alone. that I want to talk yes, about. Yes, talk about it. Get in there, man. So, it, during the trial... Yep. During the trial, I was actually into the story. And I was doing... I was, you know, I was actually, like, trying to crack the case. And I was having so much fun. And I always told people, like, you know, this is happening. And then this is what they need to figure yep. out and stuff like that. And then it gave me the UI. And I knew what was going on, and I told my chat, you know what, this is probably what's going on. And then the game told me, all right, show us what you think is happening. And for the love of God, I could not use the UI properly. I didn't know on what I should click and what oh, evidence yeah. to use to actually show the game what I'm trying to tell it. And I was uh, losing my mind. Yeah. I think for that part, it's also weird, because on one of the clues, you were supposed to do it like one one orb earlier, because like you, okay, I don't know. like. The orb yeah. with the fa the guy face on it, you can't click his item. You have to click the next one where the background is just the air or something. Like yes, <laughs> it doesn't that make part sense. Kinda yeah. ma it kind of it kind of made me rage. Like I was yeah. screaming. I just like I was paying attention. Like I was getting everything like in my head drilled in. It's like I exactly. talked to you about it multiple times. Mm -hmm. And I it's like that yeah, part... yeah, it's like one of the like it's like case number three or something, right? Option number three. Okay, so this is the guy's face. Will I put yep. his item there or no? Yes, if I put exactly. his item there, it's wrong. Like what? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was, it was it was weird, but uh, it was cool. The idea was really cool, yes. but mm -hmm. the execution was confusing. Yeah, I, I, I ended I, up I never just played... trying everything. Exactly, you can just click on everything, and you know, you, you, if you don't care, just try everything. Your actions have no work. consequences against you. Uh, it yeah. doesn't matter. I'm... Dialogue option. I'm gonna be a contrarian real quick. I had no issue with that at all. I knew everything that I knew ex everything to do. I knew what went where. I got it. The problem that I had was I don't like when you f up. They're just like, nope, silly. Try again. Yeah. I wish it was, <laughs> yeah, I wish it like, was like, like, no you, like, make, you, like, you make a fool out of yourself, right? Yeah. And you make yeah, a complete yeah, voice but... off and you say all this bullshit. And then somebody has to like save your ass. Like, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's like something. no repercussions God or forbid. any like, yeah. That's what the OM emote is for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Those are the repercussions. <laughs> uh, but the, the issue that I'm having with gameplay wise is like, there's like these two little torches and you have to touch one with like main character and the other one with Lynette. How oh, the fuck no. was I ever supposed to know that? Uh, no, wait, you were supposed to grab the purple orb around the map for the yellow one and the yellow one for the purple one. Yeah. The main character in Lynette was just there for like a cheat code shortcut. So they're basically trying to sell Fontaine character as an easy way to complete puzzle. But you can c complete any puzzle with just like the stuff around the area. Wait, you were supposed so... to find stuff around the yeah. area of the I puzzle. I haven't used the new ones of... yet. They actually like skip the main mechanic of the puzzle. Yeah. So if you use new Fontaine character, they have. Uh, basically, light and dark element that automatically complete certain puzzle for you. So it's like that's why people were molding. That's wow. okay. 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 Yeah, they made it pay to win. Wait, Kelly, yeah, you're invisible. Oh, yes, huh? I'm invisible. I've activated my secret skill, but also my phone just died. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be right back. Sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, you weren't weird. supposed to use the any of the main character or the other one. You can just complete all the puzzle with whichever character you want. Okay. Yeah, it just I, takes, I, like, yeah, that's how I read that. Like, okay, I actually yeah. have no idea about that. But <laughs> all in all, I would like to just go around real quick, uh, and I want y'all to give me two numbers, okay? Uh, before we get into the, the real meat and potatoes of, of this podcast that I really want to talk about, I want to give you two numbers. The first number will be how you think of uh, Fontaine's aesthetic. And yes, I do want you to compare it to other zones that we've already had. 
uh, and I want you to tell me uh, a number for one to one to ten on how you think of the gameplay. So for me personally, I would give Fontaine's aesthetic a nine. I would give the gameplay a six. Uh, Oofy, what would you give it? We should also I, do a story, probably. We'll, I give after. the I yeah, give the right. aesthetic a nine. Mm. For one, it um, reminds me of Elysian Everlasting from Honkai and also a little bit of St. Freya at the same time. I love it so much, and the robots remind me of Vilvi, and uh, there's so much stuff that looks like Honkai stuff, and I love it. Are, I, are you sponsored by Honkai Back Third? No. <laughs> okay, so this isn't this isn't like a bounty or something? No, they don't okay. know me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But the uh, the gameplay, I don't really know. Give it a number. But I don't. They didn't explore. Five I didn't ever. get to explore. <laughs> okay, well, no, say no. say it right now. I want you to commit to a number. Just say. But something. I am going off of a assumption. I'm gonna say probably like a six. I think that's yeah. a damn good pick, <laughs> Necker. What do you think? Yeah. Aesthetics are nine. It's Grizzly Hills. Come on, yep. it can't be better. Probably my favorite region, actually, out of out of everything. Uh, I, it, it might it might be it might be Nimizuma for me. I would say I would say Sumeru is my least favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I hate the desert. Yuck. Really? Uh, I I don't like the desert. <laughs> yeah, gameplay. Empty, <laughs> empty, boring, and sand gets everywhere. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, it gets you don't like more room. sand on your sand. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll have a sand burger with sand. But yeah, the g gameplay. Look, gameplay. It's it's Genshin. You want it's me to, like I, six, the, the thing seven. I hate the most six, about seven, Sumeru okay. is like they added the the quality of life feature to see underground map after Sumeru ended. They so I'm like they did it wow. because of Star Rail. I'm pretty sure <laughs> oh because they, God, that's man. where they got it from. Okay, uh, well, Sorrow has more quality of life update in three months than Genshin did in three years. That I don't is know true, anymore. bro. They have their they have Genshin's anniversary awards every update package. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's coming up soon. Every, every patch. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have so much content to cover when the anniversary rewards come out. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. Oh, no. Oh, Google oh, Classroom go. is going to die again. And you know the worst? You know the worst? Yeah, bro. Fucking Google Play Source Fox. Uh, the, the best thing is, is that I know for a fact, Honkai Star Rail's anniversary is going to be giving us a free five star. On God. That's going to be the best because they do that in Honkai Impact. Okay, they're going to do it in Honkai Star Rail, and it is going to drive Genshin players mad. It is so funny. Uh, Kettle, what do you think about the uh, the the visuals, and what do you think of the gameplay? Y'all, uh, the visuals, honestly, 9.5 is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's act I think it's the prettiest region, like hands down. You cannot convince me that another region is nicer, honestly. And then for also, gameplay. Also, boom, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, as for the gameplay, like a six or seven. Like, I feel like the underwater combat's okay, but I'm going to get bored of it, honestly, in like a week or two. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we all will. We will. And it'll become a chore, yeah. and we'll hate it even yeah. more. But yeah. right now, there's recent, yep. there's, there's uh, was it recency bias, so it is what it is. And we will probably, there will probably be video after video about like, why Fontaine's <laughs> underwater combat ruined the game? It'll come out, and I'll, it'll probably say published by TechTown. Uh, but for right now, we're chilling. <laughs> I do also want to say, I mentioned how much I loved Fontaine's and I disliked Sumeru's. Uh, do you like how Sumeru looks, Kettle? Oh, it's... yeah, I like it, actually. I do. But I think the desert got kind of boring after a while. Like, I, I just, I was, like, so surprised. They kept releasing desert region after region. Like, mm -hmm. dude, it's just sad. I think, I think you know, the first desert region was cool. But after that, it just kind of came boring. Yeah. Uh, what, did you think, what did you think of the R and Yaka quest? Oh, I haven't even finished it, dude. It's too long. Man. Neither has 99% of the player base. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, yo, Island. I haven't done it. Island, what do you think of the oh, zone? I... What do you think of the gameplay, Island? The zone is the best in the game. Okay. Uh, I should say that because, I don't know, I'm a little bit biased because I like the whole waterway thing, yep. like, like almost like Venice and those kind of things. Even though it's it's kind of similar, but not exactly. But it kind of gave me that vibe. Mm. Um, and it, like Luffy said, I there's a bits of Honkai Back Third feeling as well for sure. Uh, and then gameplay, to be honest, uh, uh, mid, it, yeah, mid five, so five, five. Five. You can go lower if you want. I'll give it a five. That's okay. Respectable. <laughs> respectable because it's good. It, it it's fun. 
So, but, Island, do you just do you just like hate Genshin Impact players, or what's going on here, man? Uh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Tech talk, dude. Why are you asking me this question? No. <laughs> okay. I have a lot to say about this. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. Yeah. You know I make you know I make theory videos. Of course. You watched some. I know you did. I know. Because my great. chat was like They're very oh. good. I can't make theory videos anymore. Why? Not because I don't love it. Yeah. People spoil everything <laughs> oh. in the comments with leaks. And I avoid leaks. Yeah. And I had to like force myself to stop reading comments, which I hate. So I'm like, dude, if you guys need to stop, I made like a video like yesterday or the day before. And at the end, I was like, guys, please. Um, this is just like what I think. No leaks. First three comments, as soon as I click upload three like leak comments, I'm just like, you guys. I'm like, this is no, so hard. No, what we got to do is yeah. you just got to read the leaks and then just act like you're super smart. Dude, no, <laughs> man. And be like, yeah, I didn't look at any leaks and I still predicted this shit, brother. I'm telling you, Ting Yun comes out of Luota's coffin. Oh, my God. Oh. And then, yeah, you and just got to pull a Farina. Yeah, and then Himiko comes out <laughs> as well from Honkai and back third. And then... Her and Welt just start banging. It's crazy. Dude, I don't I don't I don't have anything yeah. people looking at leaks. I don't care. Just don't tell me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do yeah, your yeah, thing, yeah, I'll yeah. do my thing. Don't spoil shit for me. But like Yes. That's cool. the current state that it's in, and it's it's a love hate relationship, I would say for sure. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. I'm sorry, man. You know what? We'll do. You triggered me, bro. Yeah, you triggered me. I'll, I'll bring in Doctor K. We'll do a therapy session for Genshin Impact content creators because God knows we need it. Please. Uh, all right. Uh, yo, Eeks. Uh, thoughts on zone. Thoughts on combat. Yeah, for the zone. Uh, I love it. I think I'm with everybody else. Like a nine, maybe like a ten. Um, I really like. You would say ten. Like you would say ten. Think about it. I mean, oh, if we're think? talking about just aesthetics. Oh yeah, but yeah, but no. If you if you think it's absolutely perfect, I mean that would be cool. But if you, I'm just that is, maybe that's a little bit high. You know, okay. sometimes it feels okay. empty. The NPCs or whatever. Okay. But um, no, I just love that it's like a city. Um, it feels so different than every other. It does. Uh, it does. City, town, zone in Inazuma. I mean, yep. <laughs> in like Tevat. Um, and I just appreciate that. And I, I'm like a big city guy. Like I, I like city living so uh i thought it was really cool I will and then sorry go ahead i was just gonna say and then for the gameplay experience i'd say like yeah like a six or a seven mm -hmm. underwater's fun but it'll, it'll get old eventually and then but every every gameplay gets uh you know when it comes to exploration is gonna get old but um i think he still did a good job. Like, it's yeah. fun. Yes. Yeah. I, I will say, uh, there are some times when I'm walking around Fontaine above the surface, and I think I'm in Mondstadt again, and then I see, like, a floating ship, and I'm like, oh, bro, I love it here, dude. The floating <laughs> ships, they're so much fun. I love the little tours they take cool. you on. It's so much fun. Uh, also, I need to talk about one more thing. Tell me to circle back about Visions, um, and then we'll, we'll talk about it, because I can't remember who it was. It might have been you, Kettle. It might have been just short that I watched yours this morning. Uh, Code, uh, what do you think about the zone? What do you think about the combat? Uh, probably like an 8 for the zone and a 5 for the combat. Cool. I like the zone, because there's like a cool place underwater where you have like three different colored water there. It's pretty nice. It's like good screenshot place. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, Brax, what did, what did you think about the uh, the zone and the combat? Probably, yeah, I'd say probably eight for the zone. Um, like uh, Ufi and Island said, it reminds me of uh, some of the better Honkai stuff out of Elysian Realm. Mm. Um, I really like that. I like the aesthetic, and I honestly think the whole like like the water boats thing. It was kind of weird at first. I was like, oh, okay, the the city is actually like three different areas, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um. But I thought I think it's it's kind of cool and it's new and like when you're walking around the city, it definitely feels more populated than a lot of the other stuff in Genshin, which is cool. Yeah. Um, I did. As far as I, the gameplay, like, uh, like six. A random comment on my chat that's gonna make everyone hate Fontaine Combat. You have to kill underwater enemies for like level up material for your character, no? That's no, you do you. not. They do they drop do, right? something, which means it's used for something. Yeah. Oh, so man. you have to kill underwater no. enemy for like your level up material for Fontaine character in the future as well, which is gonna Don't make tell everyone me we're gonna have to underwater combat. Hunt for like 
Three out of ten. Drops underwater. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's the breaking point. <laughs> oh, man. Some of them also drop on land, but a lot of them are underwater, right? Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The, like, little, like, yeah, I that, don't know what called, That I know might what be about. bad if you're forced to do that to farm, but I'm going to hope that they're on land and sea. I'm going to hope. Uh, but we'll see. Because right now, I believe all mats for the current characters in Fontaine are for, currently all farmable uh, above water. But uh, I could be mistaken. I'll be real. I don't do the farming myself regardless. I have people for that. Uh, regardless, <laughs> I get I get the help to do that. <laughs> um, so I do want to talk about something here, which is I, I noticed a common trend uh, in Sumeru. And Kettle, if this is your short, please cut me off when I start talking about this. Um, Sumeru users got their visions just by complete bullshit. Like, Al Haytham was just reading a book, and he got his vision. Dea was like, oh, yeah, I want to be stronger. And then she just got a vision. Uh, so I am, I am very curious. I am very curious. Uh, do, do we currently know how any person in Fontaine has gotten their vision so far, or no? I don't no. think that was my short, but uh, it's probably in the character story. I haven't actually read it yet, straight up. Okay. I have no I idea. Don't... Yeah, I thought they had to have some sort of drama vision. to get a vision. No, that's I thought it was like just depending ambition. on the no, that depends on the element, right? Different elements have like different similarity, right? Or mm. of There's how they a... get the vision, right? I heard like... speculation to that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would like... make sense. It's just like long own. speculation, right? But like, like, well, the fact that Tecton said, well, you do get vision just randomly. Like Mona just got it randomly. Hold like, on, it just it was like an yeah, old watch. Yeah, it's really odd. Is there not, not a single Fontaine character with a Hydro Vision? You know, it was Mona. Mona was from Fontaine, but some, for some reason, Fontaine pissed her off so much she left. What like, if she would be the, the best it's, detective. It's, it's the what if that's why a child was uh, <laughs> can only go on judged waters, guilty? But... Uh, hydro Vision? Because he has a Hydro Vision? Yeah, because he's so. I because, like... because, I mean, all Fontaine people are sinners, according to, you know, the region. Mm. Uh -huh. What if what if he was what if he's guilty because he's using hydrovision? Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. My brain was like, okay, so Fontaine has a lot of hydro power. People with high hydro sensitivity can talk to the one in the middle of the fountain, right? The giant ocean thingy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe when Particular was using hydro power to hurt people on Fontaine, they got angry, so they just stopped letting him use hydro powers. I don't know. True. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, I'm confused why in the story quest, like obviously Mona left. They say that they don't understand when people, like, you know, turn into water. Like, how is that possible? Yeah. But it's like, bro, have you seen Mona's right click? Because, like, she does that <laughs> constantly. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, dissolve. Oh, I feel like that was a cool plot point, right? Like, I was I was yeah. so sure. I thought the main killer was going to, like, only commit murder in the rain and turn himself to water to go away or something. But, yeah, for like, sure. Uh, that shit goes hard else. as fuck. Like, and the best thing is, like, they doubled down. Like, I thought all the oh, chicks yeah. were going to be like, oh, I'm alive now. I'm safe. Yeah. Nah, bro. They're like creepy-ass ghosts who just, like, drown, 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 uh, drown. That, <laughs> I love the it. dialogue. Dude. It's like a horror movie, almost. So good. Yeah, that was really yeah. cool. Yeah. I guess, like, like, I rewatched. Well, when I was doing the story, I did some nitpicky overanalyzing for fun. And there was, like, three factor that I'm like, how the f does that work? And the explanation of that whole universe gives you that. Oh, it just, just they can just do it. It's just magic. Wait, yeah. we we had a small talk about this yesterday in the Discord. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want yeah, to know yeah. what your thoughts were. Exactly, what do you mean? Okay, so did you, should I just go for it now? Or yeah, yeah, go for it. Like, okay. right, the first one. You remember the Mondstadt thief? And she says that she, for some reason, she managed to steal two macaron from our table. First of all, the table was hollowed and something under there there's two bodyguards behind us third of all all civilian has already been okay, escorted okay. out of the building so yeah, the yeah, only yeah. way she's managed to steal the food is either she knock out a guard steal their uniform and walk by us or she has a cloak of invisibility that's the first one right straight up okay yeah, I'm yeah. With you. Yes. the second one is how the f the two kids managed to get permission to dig a tunnel in the most important building of fontaine to do a magic <laughs> trick yeah. and also yeah. they, did, they dig a hole to the right. area yeah they dig, they also okay they made a Air vent to the core of the building where the main machine is. Look, it's Star Wars. They, how did again. they get? To, yeah, how did they get permission for all of that? And no one's supervising them, or they can just. Oh yeah, no, you okay. want to build the place right here near the core? Yeah, sure, just fucking and go no ahead. Permits Bro, in the regional law. This is not what I was yeah. expecting, but holy shit! Wait, 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 w
Uh, and let's start from the very beginning, okay? Uh, and also, uh, Code and uh, Kettle, do you have hand toggles or no? Uh, no. No. Cool. No, okay. Can, I, okay, if you have something to say, just start wiggling. Okay, and if you're wiggling, then you just, <laughs> you go, and I'll be like, you have the stage. Just, so if you ever need to, everybody else, if you ever want to cut in, just, let's. this, this is probably going to get really hectic really quick, because uh, I don't want to do this one at a time. I just want to say, if you have something to say that's positive or negative, but just a very heated thing that you need to say, go for it. All right, main story quest part first. one. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk yeah, about yeah, when we get to that part, we get to that part. Okay, we start okay. up, main story quest, okay? We see this beautiful reveal of Fontaine. We walk down. Uh, we see this mysterious girl. It's Lynette. We go talk. Okay, yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, so mm -hmm. the first part of Fontaine feels like 10 fetch quests put together. I know they're trying to do world building, but it's kind of like all over the place. The only thing I like about it is the quality of life, where now, when you have a new quest, they teleport you to the location instead of trying to make you walk two minutes. Yep. And it takes you out of the yeah, invasion. Right? That's, the that's my only upside. Mm. They, they they even ask you, like, do you, do you want to do it now or do you want to wait? And if you wait, you just stand where you are. But if you if you agree that you, you want to continue, they just teleport you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I like the quality tough. of life, but I still feel like it's 10 fetch quests. And plus, I don't get to learn that much about the city anyways. Yeah. So I don't know why. I thought the initial reveal of the waterfalls and the building was very beautiful. Uh, I thought mm -hmm. that was a very nice, just very strong right off the bat. And you're just, this is all water. Necro, go ahead. You missed out on the water ride, all right? You missed out on the ride. I know. Like, I'll go back. Such a, a, such a great scenery. one. It, it was probably it's one of the best. You jumped off the boat. I, yeah. will, I will legit go back. I promise you. Okay. I'll immediately <laughs> have this. I will, I will watch the whole thing. Okay. I promise. Well, all right. Uh, uh, we meet Lynette, okay, very mysterious, uh, ba 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 ba. We meet uh, Lene, they talk, we communicate for a little bit, they touch Paimon's back, uh, they put a little string which sets up for later, and then all of a sudden, water archons there, Florin's there, guards, huge, <laughs> ha 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 ha, so you've come to my city, huh? Wait, sorry, go ahead, Code, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, this yeah. is my. I think the traveler is like Pikachu because every single time he goes to a new region, his level gets reset to one. He forgets all how to use <laughs> yeah. all his elemental power, and no yeah. one in the world remember who he was. Like, oh, 100%. I don't know why. <laughs> because yeah. like, I remember back in Sumeru, there was like a scene where the traveler is, you know, well, Nahida was in Katerin's body getting beat up by like a bunch of guards, and the traveler mm -hmm. just has a fifteen second window where he's just runs up there screaming with a sword without using any elemental power and i get pissed off so much about that i'm like bro do something yeah it's like it's like ang the avatar like resulting to like using like a, a gun you know he's like bro he controls fire <laughs> water air and he's earth, like bro, bro use your ult, yeah, yeah. ult bro. <laughs> there's no way people of like mons oh, well people of Tevat hasn't heard about what the traveler has done because like every time they're like we got you cornered traveler and it's like four Treasure hoarders that died in like five seconds. It's like, what kind of? You can't corner some guy that beat up four dragons like that. Yeah, I... it's like three NPCs that look the same. <laughs> I know. Three NPCs. Oh, is like that oh yeah. Dude, yeah. the NPC shit takes me the f out of it, bro. If there's an NPC in the story quest that's important, make them look cool. Like silver yes. looks cool. Silver look cool with Navi. I bodyguard. love silver. Yeah, yes. they were great. my favorite. But like straight up, bro, make them look different. It is. It is insane. They have the. It's so annoying to me. They have that one manly model that looks like Markiplier, and he's in every region. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the... I also, I also hate how like I mean, let's, let's for all intents and purposes, like the 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 traveler is like Jesus Christ, like on this planet. <laughs> how the f like, bro? I go out to any anime store, and people are like, "Oh my God, Tech Town, bro! Uh, Genshin Impact, I love that <laughs> game." There's no way that like 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 Jesus can go to these plays and be like. Oh, yeah, you're Jesus Christ, right? It's like, no, these people have a oh, way different reaction. Traveler. Like, oh, yeah, you're the guy who saved the Earth five times. Like, what the f*** are you talking about? Like, people should be losing their shit the moment we go to any new zone. Like, there's no way. Like, these people don't have phones. I swear to God, there's Diablo Immortal all over. No, no, like, but, yeah, go thing, ahead, right? I, get more, I, get, I get more pissed off about that because, like, they literally have newspaper in Fontaine. And I'm like, what they do? <laughs> like, they what do. So it's like... like well, I mean, to be Wait, fair, the Charlo character know. literally made dialogue, well, made papers for the Traveler specifically and their exploits, right? Yep. And no yeah. one in Fontaine is like, what? No, there were some, there were some who are like, oh, you're, you're the yeah. Yeah, yeah, I recognize you. you. And like, like, I swear to God, when the Traveler walks in, there should be like a, a 
adventure level threat or something. This guy kills yes. dragons and gods, you know? <laughs> well, I guess that's true, because that's like almost like that's too much. That's it's way like, too much of a feat. Yes. It's like I think I think the most recognized person on the entire planet right now, I, I believe it's the rock. You know, it's like the rock walking into a McDonald's. Like every single person would would know who he was. People I see would what be, you're saying. people mm-hmm. would surround him immediately. So a little bit more recognizable would be very nice. Jungles, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that I thought the intro, besides talking to the random NPCs who just didn't know who we were for some reason until they were reminded by, uh, I guess, the president of the country coming out and saying, <laughs> "Dude, that, I like, that interaction I like... was so funny. It, it was, was like yeah. one of the funniest things. Like, yes." I think my most hated character this entire story quest was the Traveler, because for some reason they just became, like, a, a massive hypocrite, if that makes sense. It's true, Paimon is the better main character now. Yeah, yeah, because, like, the, the Traveler himself is like, what happened to him? I don't like how you said that. <sighs> <laughs> well, it is true, though. It's, it's true. like, okay, okay, let, let's go, okay? Um, uh-huh. So, Tartaglia is an orphan, right? He uh-huh. also has a, uh, a family, right? And Tartaglia, uh-huh. uh... He's a Fatui, right? Yep. He yeah. unleashed a world-ending god in Liyue, and uh-huh. our traveler is fine with that. And then Lynette and, uh, and Lenny, right? They're just two orphan kids right. that didn't yeah. tell them that they're from uh, they're from Fatui, but they never did harm the traveler at all. And the traveler can't forgive them for that. For some yeah. reason, the traveler right now hates every Fatui, even though throughout the entire Genshin storyline, the traveler has heard a Fatui that's just trying to find food before. And then realize they're not evil and help them. Go it's to the chasm, help the food that was drowned, right? Can, like, can, can you somehow explain to me? Maybe I'm missing something. I'm still new to this. Why is the traveler friends with child? Yeah, like yeah. that's that's yeah. not bad, right? It's not only Why? Tartaglia. It's so the, weird. the traveler is friends with a lot of other Fatui NPC, but like they're from like side quests, right? Unless none of those side quests were canon at all. But the traveler does know Fatui aren't evil by default through all those story quests. Mm-hmm. And now suddenly, in Fontaine, it's like, oh, you're Fatua, you lied, uh, you're evil, f- you, right? So yeah, it's like, yeah, child <laughs> almost committed, yeah, like, genocide. I nah, that's fine. Bro, yeah, I, I was so mad they're... that we had to be yeah. mean to Linny. I was like, no, dude, I'm okay, I trust you, man. And then L- uh, Lumi's like, nah, nah, we can't talk ever, I'm like, what it's is like, wrong with you, Levine? Holy yeah. shit. The illusion of choice as well, where it gives you two options that both say, yeah, we don't like you, Lene, was very, very, very Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, like, gosh, it's yeah. like the Traveler being mad that Lene and Lynette didn't tell them their true identity. It's like Traveler didn't tell people that her fucking, well, their fucking sister or sibling caused like the Khan Ryashin. Like, yeah, we oh just caused God. the world to explode. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, right. Not my problem, though. Yeah. So it's like yeah. That, are, right? are, we, are we assuming... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of mixed feelings. It's like, is the traveler really friends with child? Are we assuming that's? that's uh, I would say yes. Definitely 100%. friendly or child. Yeah. 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 talk to child. Yeah. They don't even Every want to talk time. to there, there was even we were even like Inazuma with it, with Jin Yen and stuff, right? They were literally on friendly terms. Because like mean, when we well, arrived in Fontaine, the child was like, "Oh, it's you, traveler. Ah, let's chat." And yeah, know, like, like there were the, the was thing, right? Yeah, Even if it was like, like cool. frenemies, right? We're not immediately hostile to Tartaglia because, like, mm-hmm. I swear to God, the traveler should have learned not every Fatui is evil. Maybe and then the point now is, it's like, yeah. it's maybe the point is, I mean, I'm, I'm playing the devil's advocate here. Please do. Maybe the point is that Lying, the traveler man. was, yeah, traveler just didn't like being lied to or being information. Gated from the mm-hmm. I don't he think he would have paid Ayako, Yai, Miko, and so on. Or they were jealous. Yeah, true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, true. <laughs> he I, Maybe it's I, their pet peeve. I think what it is, I think the character is inconsistently written. Uh, that's what I think. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, <laughs> that's, 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 that's my yeah. point. That's, that's what I think that it is. Uh, but they're getting better. Uh, they, they really are, because uh, hopefully they'll get 10% of the Honkai Star Rail team to take over for the story, uh, and maybe it'll yeah. be a little bit more consistent. Uh, <laughs> but that is okay. That being said, the introduction of Linne and Lynette I thought was fairly good. I thought the introduction mm-hmm. of Chlorind and Farina was very, very, very good. And uh, it made the zone feel important and different immediately. Uh, yes. I, would you agree with like that? Or would you in- yeah. I think Chlorinda introduction is like, I remember the trailer. Mm. And I don't know, I think they do it on purpose and they know they f- do it because in the Fontaine trailer, you literally just see like Clorinde thighs on like a three yeah. second shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. her thigh and stalking on like a three second shot. I think that's how they're trying to sell her at this point. They know mm. what they're doing, man. Look All at right. the button. Holy now, Ufi, she looks like a dark, uh, like 
Blood yeah, her, her boobs are fighting for her life right now. So, yes. Obi, you did the story the most recently. So mm -hmm. after we talk to them, I believe we go up to catch a criminal. Right? Mm -hmm. We go to catch a criminal. We go up the elevator. We catch the criminal. Uh, did that criminal have any impact on the story at all? Or was it just a, we caught a criminal? She was the one that was Wait, that disappeared in the box as well. The thief. Yep. Did that was her. That oh, was her. No. Oh, yeah, that was her. <laughs> no, no, he's close. She changed her okay. clothes. I, I just, I, I wanted, no, I wanted close. to make sure. I wanted to make sure that was the same person. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure. Yes. Okay, that was the same. Hall person. Yeah, her okay. fake name was Halsey or whatever. Yeah, she was like a monster thief. Right? Did, yo, mm -hmm. how many yeah, of she, you? Yeah, she's like, I saw Monstat, the biggest meme. It's like dissolve. weakest monster thief versus strongest Fontaine criminal. It, it was great, guys. It was literally a bait question to see if they didn't notice you. Dumb shits. Maybe uh, I'm jumping the gun here. Mm -hmm. If I am, we can talk about it later. But how many of you actually figured it out like before the reveal of immediately. that girl? I was sus of her. Yeah, I was very sus. Yeah. Okay, but on a sorry weird tangent, I was just so mad. It felt so cheap. They were like, oh. Actually, she was hiding in the box all along. I'm like, how did nobody find yes. her? They were just yep. a few boxes. Just open the lid. Why would you not check it? It's a freaking mm -hmm. crime scene. I was I was kind of mad because it felt so cheap. It's like, yes. I, there's she no way in hell box, I could have right? rationalized that. The whole Ugh. point was, though, that she was like some kind of really like skill set, like high skill set to eat. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't. I don't still, believe though. she has invisibility. <laughs> like, when they're about to explain yeah, invisibility, I don't know it's how like she snagged those. Disappear. Did you see how the guards were investigating the area around them? Like, did you see how the NPCs? Oh, like, when she disappeared yes. and the guards were looking, there was no joke, a NPC who was, it was a guard, and he was just, he was just sitting there, just. <laughs> yeah. No, like, yeah. What are you looking at? And he was I, just I, I just staring at the it, ground. Though. I just don't get it. It was yes. goofy as. Yeah, but like, well, if we're talking about NBC, it's like what I said earlier, right? It's like how she stole macaron from us. That explanation is the most okay, bullshit that one, was one ever. Weird. Yeah, that, that one, one was weird, right? Mm -hmm. That one was weird, right? And then, okay, I know pe other people notice, right? Not just me, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, okay, that's good. Because I thought I was crazy thinking there's no way she can stealth that. <laughs> okay, so, for me to that, answer, right? to go off Island's question, it's like... He he asked, um, did anyone realize it was her at that moment? Dude, the thief girl is a basic copy, like cut NPC, copy NPC movie. character model. And That's then what got me. the random person choose from the crowd in the thing is just what looks like a copy pasted like character model. Like we see them all the time. So it's like to think like that's the same copy NPC model as the one that was the thief. Like, yeah, that's what. There's I, no yeah, like. Yeah. No, the thing is, they even gave her a backstory. Do not care remember? about She's the like, models awesome. and not recognize that they're characters. So I think no, there was pretty much legitimately no way. Unless you're like, yeah, I knew that was the same this NPC is... model. Like you're just lying. Yeah, they even <laughs> changed her clothes too because she wasn't wearing the same man, clothes. Like... Yeah, I mean, the uh, only reason why I found it suspicious is just because, like, I was just thinking they wouldn't put that thief section in for no reason, so it's probably related in some, like, yeah. really yeah. weird way. But that's just, that's just, it's like that know, gun because... theory, you know, if they show a gun in a movie, then it's definitely going to be used. At the yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, I don't know. But the, yeah, the same character model just kind of spoils it. Yeah, the, 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 the moment there was a, now we're going to choose a random member of the audience, <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's they even try to well, that off, one was all like, that one was like well, when you invite a random member in, they suddenly do like an introduction. Oh, she's a like a struggling artist that comes here to relax. I'm like, okay. Yeah, like okay, <laughs> that's not random. How do you okay, know? Okay, yeah, that's not random. <laughs> no, that they said... did. They knew that because they did a background research of her. Mm. Yeah, of oh, everyone true, true. in the in the theater. Exactly right. That being said, I mean, well, no, on you... everyone in no, the no, 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 no. The point right, was, can I, mold? <laughs> I have one more thing I need to mold over. You know the guard that disappeared into water? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. The justice system of Fontaine is shit because after that guard disappeared into water, no one did a background check on him, who he talked to, and tried <gasps> to discover who's the main guy. Just we could have at least signed justice. a higher hierarchy of command. That, this is my third thing that I got molding uh, was at the story because it's like. That could have been like a plot hole we discovered. I, th I honestly thought we we're going to go find the people that the guard got dissolved to, talk to, and try to find clues from there. But no, we ran back home for some reason with three <laughs> random people that I don't know. I'm like, okay, sure, okay. I guess another plot point. 
But yeah, I that's think, my moment. Uh, I think the severe issue with Genshin Impact of every NPC looking the same and us, for some reason, trying to it be established that we give a f*** about them, which will never happen. I don't care. There's over 70 characters in the game. We can use those 70 characters in the game to tell a story, my opinion. Uh, and the nitpicks. I feel like the opening was very good uh, yes. for, uh, for Fontaine, but then the slow part started to happen uh, soon thereafter. Uh, which was, I believe, um, there was a weird slow part where we talked to NPCs around the around the town, and then we get the introduced prophecy. to prophecy. Yes, yeah. and then yeah, we yeah, get yeah. a to a quicker part where Tartalia comes out again. Yes, and uh, Tartalia beats the f out of some criminals because they're like, "Hey, uh, he's like, oh, okay, guys, hold the f on. I'm talking to so my uh, talking to my homie real quick, and he's like, "All right, you better pay attention to me, or the boss Wait. is gonna make you swim with the fishes." And then Tartalia is <laughs> like. <laughs> Which was Wait, yeah, this would be awesome. this would be so lame. But what if the justice oratrice did him guilty because he didn't have a permit for a duel to like beat the crap out of those guys? Oh god! Uh, I need to. I need to. There's a comment. I need to. Uh, in my chat. Be I'll be so mad if that's that's the yeah. case. There's there's I'll a comment in my cool chat reveal. real quick that I got to bring up real like quick. The, uh, uh, it's a mobile mm -hmm. game, and the game says there's already 100 gigabytes for PC. Why would they add more high-quality assets for every NPC? The phone will go boom. That is complete yeah. bullshit. Okay, the newest update, okay. update was 30 gigabytes. It would not really cost that much extra storage space to make two or three special NPC models that you use for the story quest. It would really not be that big of a fucking deal, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to re-download Genshin yesterday to do the quest, and it was 67 gigs. Yep. On the PC. Uh, Don't they do add it? more NPCs anyway? Like every like a year or so, so they could still do it. They yeah, they, and, they, and they should. And they also I mean, like, can't you like uninstall old quests now? Isn't that a thing? Yeah, you can. After you complete yeah. them, you just like get rid of them. old quests. But like, I think That's those are mostly for events or something, right? Or so. Mm. Or because like, I don't know. You can't just uninstall Monstat, right? Basically. Yeah. Right? Just, like, <laughs> it's the void. Like, they could definitely yeah. do more to just like. Clear I honestly up think space. that might be fun though. Like one day, like instead of going to a new region, we just see an old region destroyed or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. a new Dude, I would love that. <laughs> right, just would be like cooler. complete annihilation. Because like, oh, I thought like, Albedo was finished the, the story quest and permanently changed the world. That's gonna be fun. Let's yeah. go yeah, Fortnite. Destroys the region. Galactus comes down. I, I'm waiting for <laughs> Albedo to just like absolutely pulverize Mondstadt, and then it's just like everything is destroyed and on fire, and then we have. To I still don't know guy. who he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. New guy. I, I don't know. You know. The only thing you have to know is like I think Albedo main's main gimmick is that he knows everything, but he only tells you when you finish the story quest. Like that's <laughs> now, yeah. I am curious. After the introduction of Tortalia, uh, it, it is it is haze me. What exactly happens after the introduction of Tortalia? Do you remember the exact timeline of the story? Uh, oh, you mean, like, in Fontaine, to... in Fontaine, or yeah, in Fontaine, yes. Yeah, After so that, we, talk, he... we meet Fremenet, and then they're like, oh, come for our performance, and we're like, oh, okay. Right, Fremenet. What did we all think of Fremenet? Because I, I'm going to be honest, not a single Ooh. person, yep, not a like single a person mentioned Fremenet at all. I would Which probably say, <laughs> uh, uh, awful character. Uh, my oh, he's not out, yeah. Which one is, I actually don't know, which one is that? Fremenet <laughs> is the little blonde, <laughs> uh, the, the, the underwater thing. The, uh, the diver. Oh, the diver. Yeah, yes. the diver, yeah. I, I, I don't know why he was there at all. That was like a five-second introduction, but he's just there. That's just no, set up. Maybe he'll yeah, be... Yeah, that's just set up. Yeah. Like, but that was a fun setup, there. though, because we sat in the rain for like two hours, right? In the story quest there. We just sat Yeah, it's rained. Like... Yeah, yeah, that it, was so it, funny. It rained. It, it mm. rained, and it just, it just mm. stayed there. And why was it... Okay, Necker, you brought that up. Why is it important that it rained there? Do you think... uh, because in that scene specifically, I believe yeah. it was Fremenet who mentioned that it could be that there is a theory or that they believe yeah. that it yeah. rains yeah. when it rains. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that, that is the scene that established it. So here's the other thing, okay? For when the Hydro Dragon cries, it rains, right? I, I yeah. think it's actually just when he's sad. I don't think it's yeah, when yeah. he actually cries. I mean, um, yeah, yeah, they don't have it back for tears. Actually, no, they, they, have they do. They do. They do. They do. They do. They has the cried and Navia have cried. Mm -hmm. um, oh, dude, like I, they milk the shit out of every time, right? When they yeah. introduce the feature where you can point your finger, every other story quest is pointing their finger, and now it's crying. Yeah. I, I bet the next five story quests they're gonna cry. Oh, like they're sure. gonna abuse <laughs> this feature. Yeah. <laughs> I am looking forward. Looking forward to where it's Nervulet 
And all of a sudden, like the big reveal of him becoming the dragon is being, you know, it's because it's going to happen. There's no way it's not going to happen. If it doesn't happen, Jesus Christ, oh, universe, what are you doing? And he just, he starts tearing up and then the clouds come in and then it starts raining and then he elevates to getting furious. Because I think his emotions control the water in Fontaine. I think it's more than just rain. Ooh, and I think he's going to get like the fucking reason fear. for the prophecy. Oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. The water is rising. Yeah, and I think I think it's going to be controlled by his emotions. <laughs> because he's a crybaby. Yeah, he just, keeps, he just cries and cries. No, it's, it's going to be like Mob Psycho 100, right? And he's going to hit 100. He's going to unleash What's all of his emotions. He's going to stop being stoic. He's going to get furious, and then like storm clouds, twisters going on, and like he's going to start levitating, rips off his shirt, turns into a <laughs> dragon, eats Paimon. Holy, fuck, it's going to be sick, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. But yeah, um, I think talking about the stories in chronological order is going to take very, uh, it's a little bit too long. So I think I would rather just talk about um, the highs and lows of the quest, your favorite parts and your least favorite parts uh, and why. I think this story dragged for about 20% and then I think it was very good for 80% is uh, yeah. what I would give. Obviously, I, I could do without talking to random members and all that stuff. That's fine. Uh, the stuff with uh, Fremenet, I didn't really give a f about. Um but I felt like playing Ace, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and doing the little uh, Phoenix Wright shit where you find all the clues, you uh, convict the criminals, all that shit is very, very, very good. I'm going to make a video on this, so my opinion doesn't matter, but I would like to hear y'all's opinions. What were the highs and lows of this quest, and what would you rate it out of 10? And I would like I... to start with Oofy, and we can just go on up. Okay. I really like the part about the... Um the dissolving people people like getting dissolved and then them turning into like one single consciousness entity very much like project stigma mm. um i'm just screaming about honkai third again so <laughs> you do that that's that's <laughs> really that's that's really the the reference yeah <laughs> right the the collect the consciousness that thing in project uh -huh. stigma yeah that was cool yep, and then also cool. while we're doing this you can echo other people's thoughts but if you can try to just say like if somebody's already said they don't like this, try to just be like, yeah, that, but also this, and just try to think of something new so we can get some a lot of thoughts here. It's what I'm, what I'm really hoping. And then, like, on top of the, um, like, the the people coming together as one consciousness, then the um, whole ideas becoming, like, real tangible physical things in reality just from, like, belief. Like, the more belief and the more, I don't know, backing it has, the more, like, then it will become real. Mm -hmm. That was very much like Honkai too. So Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Hashtag sponsored. Uh well, how would you rate it on a, how would you rate it from one to ten, Uvi? The like whole quest yeah, or just one. like the first part? For part one, yeah, for part one. Uh not as not as high as the second part, that's for sure. You prefer the second say, part? The, like the end, like all of the stuff. Okay, that's that's I mean, you prefer the first we'll, part. We'll have to we'll have to Yeah, it was way better. Like it wasn't even really? second part. Yeah, no. I like the second part better. Okay, we'll get we'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll talk about the first part, the second part, and then we'll talk about why we liked which one more than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, and what did you not like for the first part? Is there, is there something that you, you think Holy Universe can improve upon? Uh, it just felt a little dragged out, and then the um, <laughs> and I couldn't figure out the the you know, the trial part. I thought I had it because I was like really getting the story down. And then I would click yep. the thing, and then it was like, no. Yeah, like, I, I know exactly right, what well, you mean. Okay, I'll just click them all then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so that may be why I didn't like it. Make your much. simple children's <laughs> game even more simple. That way, boomers like Oofy cannot mess up with the, with the wrong button. <laughs> all right, yes. Necro, Necro, what do you like and what do you don't like? Are we writing only, only the first part? Yeah, right. just first part. Uh, nine out of ten. Yep. Very good. Bro, my second second favorite quest in the entire day of Genshin. What's your first favorite? Uh, uh, the the second part. You're so, what the? F bro? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get into it. We're <laughs> gonna get into that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone seems to be agreeing. Okay, so everyone's yeah. like in the second one again. Yeah, As like, it always is. Everyone <laughs> always. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I the only thing I'm trying to think if there's something I didn't like. I just like it all. Even the dumb things that were boring. It was a good setup because usually Mods in Genshin, pull, when there is a uh, did players like Act 1 or Act like, 2 more and then tell me the percentages after it's story. after a one minute poll. And it's yeah. kind of like a setup for something else. It's usually like a setup for like here's your little setup. You're going to explore it in a, in the in the in a side quest or in a character quest. And, and like when a bad part of the story comes, that's what it usually is. It, it, it's a setup for something that you don't necessarily care about. 
here, every setup was actually meaningful for the story that you were exploring at that time. Mm. It was a great change. Everything mattered. It was great. I, I, the only reason why it's 9 out of 10 is because the UI sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. The mini game, the mini game of solving it actually I knew I knew what the problem was. I couldn't I didn't know how to tell the game. We can know all the answers. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I wish they had like yeah. a different yeah. way for us to explain I what feel happened. That part could have been done better. Like I've played like Dangan Rumpa and I think that was done like I I've seen it being done well in other games and it was not done it. well in this game. Yeah, I wonder Personally. why I had no problem with it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a skill issue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Kettle, Kettle, you can go next. Uh, for me, the highlight was really just the twist after twist. Like, it just kept twisting and turning nonstop. And honestly, the fact that I just feel like Genshin just got a lot darker, this quest. It, like, felt yeah. a lot more real. Like, like, you know, from the first, like, death on screen, I was so shocked. And then when the guy turned to water, I was shocked again. Dude, and then yep. the freaking it's this uh, guy. It's so Daddy cool, Harry man. Cheadle part, like yeah. with, with like the whole Lynette disturbing isekai shitty plot thing. You, you know what I mean? Like the the weird like selling the girl off to like rich nobles. Yep. Trope. That was, I was crazy. Just, I was so shocked, dude. Oh my goodness. And I felt so bad because earlier in that stream we were making fun of how Lynette's uh, JP voice for heavy hit taken sounds very suspicious, and I thought that she actually got like like assaulted or something, and I was like, oh my god, that's gonna make it so f that man. I was so worried, so I was so relieved when like they were like, oh, Arlequino saved the day, and I was like, holy shit, that almost went so dark. Yep. Like they almost went, made something super bad happen to a Genshin character, like a playable one, and that is that's quite wild. Yeah, go away. But... Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping Lynette's or yeah, Lynette's story quest or companion quest comes out where you actually truly like go into what happened, because like yes. you really can't just say they were and 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 please correct me if I'm wrong. Like it was a child trafficking like yes. sex ring. He like straight up sold her. Yeah, yes. like that is that is. I actually, brutal. I don't even think he sold her. He just gave her away. Yes, because yeah. the, the guy was just like, oh, yeah, I like the girl. And then he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's okay, here, you can have her because you're, like, rich. That, oh, was, oh ew. Yeah. the whole thing was, I, I was so shocked. I feel like Arlecchino is going to really step up the game for, like, how dope Genshin He kind of reminds me of Raven from Honkai 3rd. God, you don't <laughs> have more than this, right? <laughs> Guys, if you download you Honkai Impact 3rd with a Honkai Impact 4 slash Ufi, <laughs> you will get 500 free currency in the game. It'll be so cool. Also, Raven is Natasha from Honkai Star Rail, so it's different. Yeah. Well, you know I actually got to go to the concert in LA. That's right. Sick. Uh, also, Did you get that cutout back home safe? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Show us. Earthly oh, oh, what a yeah. cool Honkai Impact 3rd uh, cutout. It's Where right. can I get one of those? You I can't. I allowed. just asked and they said yes, but I didn't really re re realize how annoying it was to take it back home through flights and stuff. <laughs> yeah. At least how did it you wasn't the Sinti. The Sinti one looked way worse to travel with. Yeah, I had oh. to pay like $300 for oversized shipping on the airport and that was ridiculous. We're, we're going to do a Honkai Impact 3rd episode, that way you can just shut your mouth, okay? Once you get it all out of your system, dude. Jesus Christ. Uh, a hot take. Our Lachina reminds me of Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Uh, but that's just me. Uh, none? Nobody here? Nobody gets that? Okay, that I'm is rough. You. <laughs> you've never... I never saw oh the original thing, but I've heard you say this. You've never seen uh, uh, Cannibal Shia LaBeouf music video? No. Oh, my God. Do you see it now, dude? Do you see it now? Is it not crazy? I'll tell you, go watch, go watch the music video uh, for Shia LaBeouf as a cannibal, right? Uh, and then re-watch our Latino's trailer. It is the same trailer. It is the same trailer. It is. Feel, she really looks like Dark Phoenix, or or not Dark Phoenix, uh, Fu Hua. That's yeah. Oh, from Honkai Impact Third. Phoenix. Yeah, I think it is yeah. Phoenix. Yeah, just like the dark version. From Honkai Impact Third. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Kettle, do you have anything else to say about uh, the story? Or uh, sorry, I'm not sure if we cut you off or something. Uh, no, not that I can think of right now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Island. Let me know, man. Get it out of a chance. What were the highs and lows of the main story quest part one? Mm. There's a very, very cool... Oh, how do I explain this? So, the highest point it was actually the most depressing point for me. 
And because the story writing was done that way, I think it piggybacks off of Necrit's point and Kettle's point where there's a lot of points where they build up on purpose and kind of left, leave you hanging. But then there's one build up that I thought was very suspicious and I hope I'm, in, I'm, I hope I'm wrong. The whole point of the Arlequino point, that whole section where they're describing the, the heart, what is it? The House of Hearth and the Arlequino. Dude, I I almost went to depression mode because there was one moment where it was so surprising and suspicious where they said, uh, hey, Lenny said, there's a, it's a problem now because the dissolving water is a real thing and this might be bad for Fontanians. And then right after that dialogue, he also says, oh, by the way, Arlen Kino's a Fontanian. And that moment kind of registered in my head, like, so you're telling me there's a possible way that Arlen Kino is going to die? No. And I was, no I was so mad. No, yeah. dude, dude, I'm so mad <laughs> that that what? happens. I kind of hope that she's going to die because, because I want, I don't want every playable villain because I assume she's going to be playable. I assume she's going to be playable um, because I don't want, I don't want us to like become friends with every villain just because they have, they are playable. Yeah. That's what yeah, I, mean. I see what you're saying. Because let every me, time, the every time they want to give you a villain matter. as a playable character, they have to make them a friend with the traveler for some reason. I would be happy if she just died and she's playable anyway. Yeah, yeah, if like, she exactly. died like, but playable, I don't mind. I just want yeah. her to be playable. You know what just I mean? Make her a yeah, character yeah. on the banner and then kill her so you can double up on a good story and money. <laughs> 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 and people that told her will just be done. Yes. But the, that's why that point i thought if that's true and a lot of other builds the biggest point from act one that i felt really cool about it it was just the points that they added to build up for something else even if it like it kind of goes against what you said tectone but it's more like the build up the slow points i felt like some of them were necessary for something of course that we don't know yet so i'm more like i'm hoping these are used in good ways that's why I thought it was pretty good that they're planning these things. Um, yeah. I I liked it, but hopefully they use it well. These plot devices that they're planning. If not, then I'll be very sad. Yeah, I mean, um, don't get me wrong. I love slow points when I feel like they're necessary. But uh, a lot of the dialogue yeah, options, they yeah. kind of just like you know they're saying things a little bit longer than they need to because they need to like hit like a word count for like their English essay report. Yeah, it's, like, that's make annoying. this one sentence three hundred words. And Paimon says, "Well, let me tell you. Did you ever do the the, the Inazuma quest uh, where it was like the Amatormo blacksmith? Did you ever do that one?" Yeah, 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 yeah. That was long. Yeah, was there was this long. exchange between two blacksmiths with just about the most ridiculous amount of dialogue bloat I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Uh, it's not so much in my mind. It's not so much that I, yeah, the, I, I, I mean, I mean, Mona blacksmith. Holy, f uh, I, I don't mind slow points. I just don't want to feel like those slow points are a waste of time. But uh, there were a lot of slow I, points I in this quest that were, you know, obviously for a point, of course. <laughs> yeah, as long as they do it snappy and like it makes sense, it comes around full circle and it's cool, then I'm all for it. If it does drag on like that, it's annoying for sure. Yeah. Uh, but that was one of the coolest things that I felt is like, I really hope they use the spot point plot device as well. The worst part for part one. Oh, I didn't realize that the code said it. <laughs> the stupid <laughs> Makaros. I'm like, what the? F what is the deal with that shit? Now I'm like second guessing, dude. Originally, I gave the first part 10 out of 10, but now you're giving me like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta lower this number down for a yeah, second. But, like, I, I'm, just, like, I'm just trying to like nitpick the small details that doesn't make sense. So like, if you ignore it, it's great, no? Yes. It's yes. Good. It's good if you ignore it. Yes. But uh, yeah, those are my just, good or bad. Let's chalk it up to they can just do it. Uh, yo, sure. each, hit me with it. Um, just like everyone else, I thought it was very good. I had a super good time uh, with it. Kept me engaged pretty much. Uh, like once you enter the theater, you know, and you can't leave for three hours. Uh, I was pretty engaged <laughs> for the three hours, I have yeah. to admit. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And then I agree with everyone else with like the UI of the case solving. Uh, not so much the UI, but just like it didn't feel like it was the correct thing every time it was like one over or like whatever. Maybe it was like a, just how they worded it or whatever. But, um, uh, I thought it was great. Um, one thing I want to say was like, I know we're a lot of Fosalors fans here in the chat. I thought it was like, 
I thought she was pretty compelling for the story in how she's like a she's like a joke character almost. Like she wasn't involved in anything plot related almost. Like not the water dissolving, not the previous murder of the of Navia's dad or whatever um of the the missing cases like you know, it's, it just makes me think I'm excited to see what they actually do with her because we didn't really get much at all, which was cool because we got more of the other characters. Like, like the reason we like Nouvelle is because of how much they gave of us, of him. That could have been Fosalors, right? But I think it's it intrigues me as to why she's going to be important, how she's going to become more important, I guess. Wait, when, so you, I say, when cool. you say, you say you're saying Fosalor? Yeah, that's how they pronounce it. Who am I, who's that? I'm confused. Like, oh, the Farina. Yeah. Farina. Oh, it's they like have the name. Didn't like realize Borax. he had a nickname. Okay, I don't realize. So is that is that like Zhang Li and like Borax or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Borax. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Lorax, King of the Trees. I haven't adopted yeah. the Farina talk yet. Oh, okay, okay. That's, um, that's her demon name. Okay, I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. I I guess like my low point or my least favorite part. I mean, it has to be the like, the second we find out Linny and Lynette are are fatus, fatui. Yep. That's it. Lou means like you f disgusting pig, slob, <laughs> shit human being. Swans. And then like, child, what's good, homie? Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. actually a joke. It's like my favorite like literal yeah. fatui harbinger, like the guy. Yeah. Boy, dude! We were literally talking to him earlier. And then, oh my God. It was like, it's legitimately comical. Like, I see a lot of people trying to defend, like, um, but they don't actually like child. Um, they just, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, um, they're just on good terms. Like, bro, what are you talking about? It, it doesn't make sense. Lumi should not like child. And then how she treated them was like, but actually he's good, Mr. But like, yeah. Worldwide, bro. Like, bro, free my mans. He is still in jail and you're bad mouthing him, bro. That is insane. Are you even worried about child death flags? Bro, I, I'm worried that his vision it. is in a backpack and it's a five star. <laughs> I yep. I think he's gonna die. Oh, this guy's had death flags since the beginning of the game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm worried. I used to be a child simp. Okay, wait, that sounds weird. I used to be a Titanic. Oh, oh, jeez, I didn't think about that. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yo. <laughs> good save, good save, good save. That was quick. That was quick. Yeah, chat. Come on, please. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, code. Wait, sorry, anyway. Eek, eek, one at a time. What do you think? Uh, oh, one out of 10? Yeah, one Like, thing. one of my favorites, honestly. Like, let's go nine. All right, cool. Yo, code, hit me with it. And you have all the time you need, code. Oh, shit. I think I like. Uh... I'll put it like a 7 out of 10. My favorite part is when Tartaglia vision malfunctioned because it kept me there like, okay, I want to know why that happened. And they just, now they're going to keep me on like standby for the next 60 days until the next patch comes out. Yeah. Like, I want to know why the f the vision malfunctioned. I think that's the most interesting part here. It's like, if they can figure that out and maybe like a faction can figure, okay, so we can just make all vision holder vision malfunction or something. That's going to be OP, right? Yeah. But yeah. Or they can they can do a lot with how vision malfunction. I just want them to do it well because it's like the main source of power that every important character is relying on, and if it can be you know uh, manipulated in a way where it doesn't work or it got stronger, then that just changed the entire well battlefield you know, war they're having on Teyvat, right? Yeah, that's not the first time we've seen that too. Because during uh, Inazuma, when we're fighting Raiden, she deactivates basically like our vision. Yeah. It says the vision hunt decrees in effect and we can't use skills or, or burst or anything unless we're traveling. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to be tied to the, to the justice machine. And yeah. that's why he's guilty. I think I think. Oh, I think yeah. the reason never why he's guilty. why the justice machine has a voice as well, right? Like when Lenny or... Oh, yeah, Lanet it has consciousness apparently. It has, it has a voice, right? It spoke yeah. back. I'm like, okay, explain that. <laughs> yep. so, okay, then this is what... Okay, okay I'm holding again. Hey, when you... When someone built that tunnel to the core of the machine, <laughs> did no one hear the voice? And it just heard the voice this one time. Oh, in the middle of this performance. It's just plot holes. It's, I'll just leave it there. It's fine. The machine is the you icon, you, But huh? you, As long as you, know, you don't have to leave it there and you can say whatever you want, code. So if you ever what, what was the third point by the way earlier the guy that said... dissolved the guard that dissolved after the guard dissolved 
uh, the entire justice system of of Fontaine never did any look up on him, try to find yeah, who no he works for, oh, who he okay. talked to, or at least in my like my thought was like, okay, the second part of the storyline is we're gonna investigate who's affiliated with that guard that dissolved into water. But no, we just went to a completely different area with three new NPC. So I was I was honestly assuming we're gonna like go for two murder cases in a row, but you, we you, just disappear. You... You convinced oh. me. It was 10, now it's a 9 for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one quick thing. Yeah. Have they ever explained how you can remotely, like, dump the water on somebody? Like, uh, I'm like how did he dissolve pill. in water? Uh, I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming like he's like a pill or something with the water, and the other guy just yeah. press a button to dissolve. Because, yeah, 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 like, yeah. he also puts the... Oh, well, water in the drink that Navia was going to drink, right? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. so is that restaurant going to get investigated now as well? Or are we just going to forget about it too? So I guess we're just forgetting about it too. That she almost <laughs> died. And, and yep. No, I remember that 100%. But I, also just, I think it's important for later stories. I think that's going to come into play. I think the fact that uh, Lumine and Paimon, or Paimon drunk the water, I think that's gonna, I think something's going to happen with that. I don't, I don't think they would just leave it and say, oh, well, it didn't do anything. I think I think something's gonna happen for sure. I just don't know yeah, why. They yet. they did they did it did they the reason what happened was because of they drank it they w heard the voice and the hallucination of the yeah, ocean. Yeah. Was that she because higher, was that because they form, yeah. was that because they drank the water or was it just because they were yeah. more into with hydro element? Yeah, because, oh, because, because they drank the water it, it, it increased them. their hydro yeah. Aff affinity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're not Fontanian, so I mean, like by yeah, that means. <laughs> Yeah, so like the Fontaine people is probably full Hydra or something, right? Hmm. Interesting. Well, what I'm wondering is, how is there like, there is all these Fontaines are so in tune with Hydro, but it's like, yeah, why is there like almost no Hydro users? I do not get that at all. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. It makes no sense. They don't all that. have vision. You mean in Fontaine? Yeah, I mean, not yeah. everyone has like Hydro vision. I mean, like, wasn't like that's... Mona learn how to use Hydromancy before she gets her vision? So like magic kind of exists? Or am I tripping? That's what I mean. I'm I mean, not I... sure. That's why I said before, I think it's because, I think it's because, I mean, the, the prophecy is that uh, all Fontanians are sinners and, you know, and they are going to dissolve for their sins and stuff like that. Which makes me think that uh, what I believe this is a wild theory. It could be something like the, the people of Fontaine were created by the, the original Hydro Archon. They are just people from water and they had some purpose. But they kind of like broke free. They started doing whatever, and they like started like you know it, that's their sin. Like they are doing, they are being yeah, humans, or... and they are being like evil in some way. And now, the w the reason why they are dissolving is because the Hydro Archon or whatever the original power is, it wants like them to return back to their primordial form. That's yeah. what I think it might it could be. There... So that's why that's why hi that's why you can't see any Hydro powers, and that's why I think Child is guilty using Hydro power in Fontaine, or at least you know wielding a a, a, a vision, even though you don't have it, it malfunctioned. But but you know it like maybe he's guilty because he was a Hydro user there. Yeah, I mean, I, wild I just, theory. Are you noticing the similarities between the Bible and the Fontaine story quest? Uh, oh. the Ark. I've never read it. Oh, dude, I've read uh... like eight times like there are so many similarities between like jesus dying for sins and the story of fontaine it's actually very interesting uh there was another similarity that i was that i was drawing when i was doing the rest i can't remember it now but th there's a lot of like uh i guess uh parallels that you can draw uh so i actually feel like someone might have to die for the sins of what whatever the sin is for fontaine uh, i do think people, someone might have to die for that I i'm just not sure who. oh my goodness I never, I never knew about this. Actually, this is my first time hearing about it. Like the only, I guess, parallel I could draw is the whole idea that oh, we're all sinners, so we're all gonna, you know, get the big flood and whatnot. Yeah. But I did not think of Jesus and uh, the, the the sacrifice or whatever. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, I, it's, it kind of reminds me of uh, Evangelion. I'm not gonna say Honkai Third. Um, <laughs> so it's heavily inspired by it. It does <laughs> remind me of the like human instrumentality project where it's mm -hmm. like, you know, the waters are going to raise and then everyone's going to be one single consciousness eventually, which mm -hmm. never, never mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, a lot of the stories in Fontaine, it does have a lot out of aspects of, uh, Bible, Gnosticism, those kind of things. But the, I think the biggest thing that relates them all together is the concept of duality. They hint a lot at this with like life and death, 
you know how some Fontaine characters they can heal, but they can also like get hurt. They harm themselves. Yep. That's also like a part of the life and death duality, and also right and wrong, which is attached to judgment for the Fontaine as well. But the, a lot of the things are quote unquote good and bad, but we know inherently that Genshin Impact, there's no such thing as good and bad. Everything is very gray and depends on your perception, right? Oh, um, so the the reason why the Fontaine people has a sin is tied to one of the world quests if you do the entire thing. It the two hour one? It. Is that currently like, available oh, in the game? Yeah. I think the, all three of the side quests are kind of linked to an extent and they kind of <gasps> hint or explain it. So it's a but the, and, and that exists that's in the game right now it's in the game yeah oh my yeah, goodness I, I was supposed to do that after this actually Ooh, oh, that's, 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 like, that's like 10 yeah. times longer yeah. than the main quest <laughs> yeah. dude yeah there's a quest where I've, I've started where I talked to a cute little ocean guy and he's I'm excited to do that one uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah if there's a if there's a, a quest that explains why Fontanians are like sinners I would love to what that is yeah i yes. also hope when the judgment day happens which i'm assuming is going to happen all the water turns red that would be nuts. oh that'd be so cool Ooh, yeah, yeah. oh bro fucking oh. blood shift would be nuts uh let's keep it going because i want to get code out here because he's gonna uh, he's gonna have a, a health violation uh, very soon <laughs> what, was going to wrap, wrap what were you going to say and we're going to go to, over to brax oh wait, my brain what was it huh okay what, what, wait, what? you gave it a seven oh. right yeah, I gave her a seven. Yeah. All right, cool. Yo, Brax, highs and lows of uh, Fontaine Story Quest Act 1. All right, all right. I'll try to make it quick. So You don't have to. Take your time. You're all right. Good. So I really, I mean, okay, this is going to be like, I don't know if everyone's going to agree with this, but for me, it was really nice to have an intro to a quest not drag out for like 40 years. Yes. And that was oh, like, it just threw you right into it. Like right at the start, yes. you, you meet Farina and, and then you have that like, that like you know quote unquote duel and then Liddy saves your ass and then you also go meet up a child like right after it's like so fast paced mm -hmm. and it like actually made me super interested in it because um mm. i think sumeru had some really good quests but it took so long to get to like the meat of like what you were doing and like all yeah. of like the really interesting stuff yep. so it was nice that like you know you just show up in fontaine and it's like oh shit that's the archon oh shit it's your boy child Oh shit, Traveler's a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these things in sequence. Um, yeah. Uh, I also, uh, I really do like the direction they're going now, making everything darker. Because I made a, uh, mm -hmm. I made a post on what is now X a long time ago. And I was just like, damn, you know, I think I'd like the Genshin story if it was darker. I was like, Zhao should have died during Chasm. Yep. You know, one like, million percent. Like, yeah, I, I said all of these things. And everyone was like, you just like I don't know how you don't think this is like the darkest game ever because they bring up Enkonomia and stuff, but it's like Enkonomia wasn't shoved in your face. You didn't have yep. to explore Enkonomia. You didn't have to read all the extra shit. It's like it was all very much like side content for you to figure yes. out and infer yep. that it was dark. And here they're just like, all right, everyone's dead. <laughs> like, yep. um, yeah, and so for me, that was it, it. Was really cool. It's not like you know, it's not like I want everyone to die, but it feels like you know now now the quests have impact. Well, in Sumeru they did too, but. You know what impact? I mean? They have no, like, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. no. That's the name of the game. Sorry. <laughs> we still haven't even learned oh, what the shit. Genshin is. Yeah. Oh, um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed um, Act One. I'm still working on Act Two, like I told you guys. But uh, I think Act One, I'd probably give it an eight out of ten because I think there's still it could still get better, but it was definitely one of my favorites. Okay, well, it is no, definitely no, like a big improvement from other stories. Now that everybody is yeah. gone, I am going to relate this quest to every other quest in Genshin Impact. This was the best quest in Genshin Impact history, uh, by far. wasn't even close. I agree. Loved I agree. every single second of it. I give it a actual perfect ten out of ten for what Genshin has done so far. It kept me engaged from start to finish. The slow parts were very minimal. Generally, when you watch me do story quests, you will see me yawning a lot. Uh, for this quest, I was yawning very minimally. I felt like I was in the game. I was locked. The in, and because I was a detective, it made me pay attention in an organic way. That way, I would see the story, and I liked it. Farina, when she was on the screen, I was paying the attention. Nevertheless, when he was on the screen, I was paying the attention. When characters are this good, the story is this 
fucking good. You don't need the slow parts to be like, wow, let's go take Raiden Shogun on a nice little date. We can take photos <laughs> of each other. We don't need that shit. If Honk, if, if Genshin looks at what Honkai Star Rail has done, I'm not here to dick ride. I am not sponsored. I am not, I'm not affiliated at all. Honkai Star Rail storytelling is incredible and it felt like that for Genshin Impact. The the the, the detective mm -hmm. work was very fun. Tartali's introduction was very fun. Uh Lynette was very fun. Uh Paimon actually wasn't annoying. Uh the story quests were good and the personalities and the facial expressions once again of Farina were peak. It actually felt like Karen's had emotions. It felt like things were happening, important things were happening. I am underneath the opinion of I don't give a f to find my brother or sister. I literally don't. I don't care. Yeah. When it happens, it happens. I don't care. I like the nice little mini stories that happen along the way. That's why I love One Piece. This was an amazing standalone story. It was mm -hmm. incredible. And I loved every second of it. And I, I'm going to dick ride hard for that quest because it was incredible. Very, 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 very good. But let's talk about Act 2. <laughs> uh, let me start. Because I'll, I'll yes. have to be tried after this. Fine. Right? Yep, yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to dunk my opinion and run away. You got it. This is the best story. This is the best story uh, quest in Genshin's history. Yep. Because at the beginning, uh, they purposefully uh, got the tempo down as you learned about uh, the Yellow Rose story. Navia. Navia. <laughs> Look, I have nicknames for everyone. I can't remember names. <laughs> um, you learned about the basics of her story, so the tempo went down, obviously. But then it started ramping up, and the pacing was on point because. When they started introducing the, you know, the three, the three little um, guys That's where you were choosing, like, which one, who, who's the guilty one. And, but, but they, not only did they tell you the story, they also let you choose who you think is, is the bad guy. And so I like immediately in my head, I was like, well, and now I got to think about this. So from the beginning, part of the story was actually you being engaged in what's actually happening and you choosing who you think is, is, is the evil one. Now, after that... They accuse one of them, I guess I get spoiled, they accuse the old man, and from that point on, the story is about, like, how do you actually ma make the accusation stick? And so now you are engaged in that way. Meanwhile, the main character runs away to a different place, and now the story was cutting be between two different scenes, and it kept the pace rolling. And I just loved how it kept going. And then, of course... You go into the brutal part where you go through the clothing of all the victims. Paimon almost almost vomits as she cries and crumbles emotionally. It was an amazing scene. And it just went brutal so quickly and so unexpectedly. It just blew me away. And then, then it started doing the twist. Because then you learn how he's guilty and what he did. And at the end, I don't know how much you guys know League's lore. I assume not because nobody knows League's lore. I thought they would do Viego's story, who is a guy who loves his queen, he always wanted his queen to come back, and he would do anything for her, but then he actually revived her, and his queen was like, you idiot, you murdered so many people, why did you do this? I was hoping they would do the same thing, where the, the guy finally uh, finds his wife, girlfriend, I don't know what their relationship was, he resurrects her, he finally meets her, and then she's like, you idiot, I'm gonna kill you. Didn't do exactly that, did something very similar, and... I just loved it. Okay. It, I think I think the basic the pacing was on point. Nah, no, way. absolutely not. No, bro. That <laughs> the first forty percent dragged, and I meant dragged, bro. The moment I found out that I was in another quest where I had to talk to even more NPCs, I wanted to take a nail and scrape my. <laughs> you mean scalp no? Off. You mean you mean talking to the three to the three guys? Yes. Yeah, I found that boring too. Actually, that part. Boring no, okay, so. Fun. The reason, the reason why I found it interesting is because in my head, I knew that one of them was guilty. And so in my head, I was trying to see who who's lying. Because mm -hmm. they were all telling their stories, but you knew that one of them was lying. So maybe it was engaging for me because I was constantly like trying to figure out who's the one telling the lies. You're trying to the, deduce. The, the problem to... is, is that whenever I do one of these quests where it has all these... And don't get me wrong, I loved the quest. The, the payoff mm -hmm. was fantastic, but the buildup yes. was so unnecessarily slow, and it would have been infinitely better if the characters we accused were characters that we knew. Getting me to care about NPCs is very, very, very hard, but or at least making yeah. the characters look different than what we've already seen to break the mold. Like, obviously, everybody that we accused at the beginning was wrong anyways, so it, it's, well, besides the, the, the old guy, of course, he did the bullshit because vache 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 but like we could have at least put at least one or two characters in there just as funny little bits like oh god 
What was it, Kaya, dude? Was it Klee? Klee was there. <laughs> you know, just like put something in there to break in the NPC monotony. I am so tired of going into a quest and having the same thought of, oh my God, I'm going to have to talk to these shit ass base models again. It drives me nuts. That being said, I love the payoff. But I, I don't agree with the pacing at all. But I, I'm curious what everybody else thinks about the pacing of that quest. It could be that, that could be totally just my 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 view because of I course. was you know I was I, mean, I was very much engaged and I was very much like trying to crack the case from the very beginning. Well, so I'm just totally saying like good. your opinion's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is ten out of ten. It's the best quest I... in Genshin, and I am now gonna ditch. Oh, all right. That quest nice. got so nice. angry he left. Oh my god! I am oh, rage no. quitting. It was absolutely amazing uh, meeting all of you. Yeah, all great. right, but this is my ra rage quit moment. All right, uh, bye, bye, Monty's awesome. Uh, bye, bye. See you, brother. Always bye, great bye. Bye. bye, bye. I feel like the only thing that takes away from the immersion of the quest was like them telling you to pick like flowers for like five minutes yeah like, that was the only one right yeah that was, that was that. exploration that was yeah, so it was like it was, it was trying it's trying to let you explore but it's just flexing that we can now teleport you mid quest like i think that's like the only purpose of the flower collection oh, yeah. was that for the I first part that. i forgot yeah, I think it that was, was the first part when we were like, collecting flowers making... to make the magic backpack. Make the bag, right? yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I was quite annoyed I'll be honest, at that part. I'm... Uh, the magic backpack part was to like introduce the uh, the prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, bro. Uh -huh. I didn't give so much of a f*** about that. I literally blacked out. I forgot about the magic <laughs> backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah that exactly. Was that was a drag. Yeah, that was like the very first. The magic backpack went nowhere, right? Yeah. The we yeah, used to the magic no. backpack. We go for the crafter. We saw Tartaglia. Magic backpack out of our mind. It's gone. Yeah, literally. Just <laughs> like, immediately. It's gone. Yes. Uh, yo, uh, Kettle, what were your highs and lows of part two? Uh, <laughs> part two. I think my highs were probably like the grand reveal towards the back of like... uh. Vache being like the old guy and everything and like why the experiments are happening in the first place that was pretty huge but i i did find that talking to the npcs very boring like i i think i just hate it when they have like to talk to four npcs the, the, when you're like when they're like oh look at these lists of npcs that you all have to visit one by one like that that gets me bored even even though i was also trying to figure out who was guilty? I still found it kind of boring because I, I was like, I'm gonna know anyway, you know. Yeah, personally, that's what I felt. Oh, but one thing I really, really liked is that they didn't do like the traditional, you know. I find that a lot of Genshin quests like to do the really, really like sad trope of like, oh, this poor character got separated from this really dear friend or family or lover and then at the end there's this like really sad reunion between the two of them and then they're like oh, oh this like is a super cute joker moment but no they didn't do that at the end they fucking yes. murdered him that was cool i like yeah. that i love that <laughs> i was getting that. ready for like the usual cheesy like ah ah he meets his lover Oh, he's so sad now. Oh, he's gonna be taken to jail. And then they were like, boom, bitch, we're the victims. That was cool. Yeah. That was very cool. I was not expecting like that, that at all. Because, like, I think I... Mm -hmm. I think I'm also in the minority where a lot of people just said, yeah, f*** this guy, f*** this guy, f*** this guy. I, I do a thing where I really try to put myself in somebody else's shoes. If the love of my life was taken away from me, right, it would drive me nuts. It, it would. Yeah. It would make me do horrible things. And obviously, maybe I'm f***ed up. But, like, I think about that a lot. And I really put myself in his shoes. And I was like, oh, my God. All of a sudden, she's dead. And I don't get it. Maybe there's a chance I can save her. Maybe I can bring her back. I don't. Yeah. Like, right? it was. Yeah. Oh, my right? God. Okay. Because, oh, like, no. I actually, like, felt for him. And, and then yeah. Paimon was like, no, he's a cold-blooded killer and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, but, like, you know, think about what happened to he, him. He, yeah, he, deserved, like, he deserved he the fate experiment. that befell him. Yeah. But, like, I get, like, I get it. Like, I, I, I get I it. But it's, it's, I, th it's, I think it was, it was so well, so well handled. Like, on one yeah. hand, you kind of feel for him, but on the other hand, you, he also kind of gets what he deserves. So, yeah. you like, That's you also know, mean entire plot of Honkai. Yeah, Day. it's it's really good. It's so well it's so well <laughs> done, honestly. Like they didn't give him too much pity, but they also like didn't make it too cheese. Perfect. Honestly perfect. I love how they handled Fache personally. Yeah. I, I yeah. wish it wasn't an ocean in, but is what it is. Mm. I am also curious, was Vish were they just like walking around just saying, Vache, 
<laughs> Vache for like 20 years or like how did they know to do that because apparently that yeah, is what they said there was, there was oh, maybe each, victim, each victim died in different year okay yeah, oh, yeah. i'm assuming in. the collective consciousness just been radiating that like resentment energy and that just came out as a voice and it kept echoing that's like the only explanation uh, that i have maybe they yeah. took shifts you know there's so many of them they could like oh mm -hmm. you do it first on monday i'll do tuesdays <laughs> Yeah, they got nothing else to do, I guess. Just telling them. Yeah, out. right. They're basically dead. Yikes. Yo, like, Island highs and lows like, of uh, yeah. part two. Actually, Kota, wait, are you are you sleep deprived and mumbling, or are you saying things? Yeah, I'm kind of sleep deprived. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can go, go first if you want. Yeah, go for it. Kota. I think the the fountain. When they explained the fountain, they said something mm -hmm. about all waters in Fontaine eventually flow here, even tears and stuff. You know, and oh, remember yeah. Lynette asked you why you cry, Paimon, and they had to explain why, right? So I'm assuming it's just like the the tears of people or the emotions of people keep flowing in because the machine of the opera also works based on emotion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's something like that, maybe. That's how they're getting power to maintain that form for so long. Yeah. Honestly, I Kind of like the, like, Nahida thing, it. where they were, like, taking the dreams or whatever, and it was, like, powering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that's yeah. how that's, like, what's happening in Fontaine. They're, like, collecting the collective consciousness as yeah, and... a means to make real things. And how does that connect to Honkai Impact? <laughs> It's no, literally <laughs> how everything works. Oh, okay, yeah. that's sick. Like uh, for the last scene, like when when the when the collective kills Vache, I was honestly thinking they're gonna like the ocean it is gonna turn to the form of his wife or something and stab him in the back or something. But I guess it's just gonna ocean it. Ghost teleport kills him. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm just. I think for Act Two, aside from the ending, it's the aftermath that I like the most because. At the aftermath, you finish the story. You can ask uh, Nouvellet some uh, some questions, right? If you she ask goes. him about this uh, this uh, you know uh, prophecy where it's the dying or like well the deathbed message of the previous Hydro Archon, right? And she was like, uh, "For Rena, when I die, the people of Fontaine will slowly dissolve into water, and you'll sit on your chair crying alone. Good luck, Tihi XD, right?" And then, yeah. when you <laughs> when you like when you ask them when, when time on ass or when the travel ass oh so like this is a big prophecy do you think furina can deal with this Nouvellet will dodge the question i'm not even kidding yeah he ignores yeah, he he just like, ignores it. i'm he not answering it. that dude yeah, i'm not answering that <laughs> I, mm, it was great i like that part the most also silver best npc yep. yes. so yes. So fucking sick. yeah yes you're like the other guy the old guy well you don't even remember yeah. Damn. I wanted You have no idea. I wanted the old guy to be the mastermind for so long. Yeah, and that's, it, that's and what I thought him. I had yeah, that idea. I... <laughs> uh, yo, Island, highs and lows of uh, part two. Uh, first of all, the part two. I like part one better. Uh, yep. I, Based. I, if, I, if I remember, I gave part one. 10 out of 10 initially before co changed my mind today. Yeah. Uh, and then part two, I think I gave it like a 9 or 9.5 only because the cutscenes were good. Um, cutscenes were really good in part two. Yeah. Uh, I think the highest point was just kind of the thing about the whole the, the machine. Like, I still don't know anything about machine except the fact that it seems like everything's a facade and it just works on people's perception of what they like peer pressure emotion from the court system and that's what kind of like it makes a judgment and i thought that was pretty cool and i hope that gets explained more obviously in the future the worst part about part two i did not like i don't care going around talking to npcs for like deduction stuff i it is, it is whatever it is it happens i just didn't like the illusion of choice because they of make course. you yeah I mean, it's common, but they're making me think really hard about interviewing these three guys. But then at the end, it doesn't matter. You're just going to end up choosing one person anyway. Yep. Yeah, there's there's no mechanics, so it kind of removes the gravity of the situation. Yeah, it does. It, it does It does remove like the weight of like, oh, God, what if I choose wrong? Because if you falsely accuse someone of Fontaine, like, you get obliterated or some bullshit. Because like, the, 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 the false accusation thing, which was, you know, really crazy for when... Uh, 
it almost like the false accusation thing was like barely even that big of a deal when Farina did it. But then when somebody else does it, it's like, oh my God, oh, you false oh, accusation. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. that that was insane. <laughs> but uh, Farina could have been charged. Yeah, Farina can do whatever you want. She's the boss, right? It don't matter. Uh, yeah, she's the Archon. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, but yeah, that was a little bit goofy. Also, I would like to say, we all thought the fight scene between, well, not the fight scene, the literary yeah. scene between New Villette and Tartali. Right? That was, that was so good. Was so yes. Oh my god. I wasn't even like weird. really expecting that to happen either. And then he just kind of <laughs> down in the middle of the, yeah. And I was like. <laughs> yep. Straight Kyle's bitched. Face face planted it was so funny looking, <laughs> it was dude. awesome he got <laughs> bitch slapped dude because oh, he did like tartaglia did the whole magical girl transformation and everything and then he was just like <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> you guys just remind me something about the tartaglia transformation uh, like the old rich guy sent the army of robots against us right if he like if on his trial he just sends the army of robots to cause chaos on the last scene it would have been cool it would have been sick Hmm. Oh he yeah. Disappeared. He just died. I wish that happened. Yeah, he just kind of yeah. gave up. Fun. He gave up. Yeah. So I he was came up really cold. quick. Actually, he was just like, "Oh, they know my name now. Oh well, I'm confessing <laughs> to everything." Yeah. He, he <laughs> just like let like, one yeah. thing, and then he was to... like, "Well, <laughs> pretend." Yep, I did it. Yeah, it was me. I, I love when NPCs go like, "They're like." No, I wouldn't do anything. I would never harm a fly. And then, like, one piece of, like, semi, like, reasonable Ooh. evidence gets presented. <laughs> so you I was know, so huh? ready for him to talk <laughs> chaos. Like, summons all the robots, throw some grenades with water in it, and just, like, cause chaos. He just gave up. Yeah, yeah. It just, yeah. We, we just talk oh, him yeah, out of it. Me. I did yeah, it all of them. I killed them, and this is how. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> so stupid. This is my master plan. Yeah, Yo, yeah Island, he how had, would you like, an entire time? synth industry, too, and just gave uh, up. For part yeah. two, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the thing, right? Like, what the hell happened with the sim industry? Is it just gone now? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> they're, Bro. they're bankrupt. It's always it's funny, gone. like, because we all enjoy the quest, but like when you really think about both parts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking there's about. There's like, so much small shit where it's Like, it's... wait a minute, what what happened? Here? <laughs> yeah, because the only person who was running that was that guy, right? Yeah. Essentially. Yep. So, yeah. I feel like I guess it's going. that's. Always that's, the case that's why with I was... most Genshin quests, though. Like, if you think too much about it, kind of starts becoming a little plot holy. So you just kind of close your yeah, eyes code. and pretend that everything is well written. Yeah, code. <laughs> but, but like, I was so immersed in it because it was like, okay, yep. so this guy runs the entire Sif uh the thing, right? He has like multiple people working with him, right? So when the guard dissolve, I was so for sure waiting to go investigate the guards, like who he's working for. But no, he's just gone. That guard that turned to water, he's an NPC that died. Him, no more story, no more investigation. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll give it. I'll give it a nine. Eight. No, nine. I'll give it a nine. I think in your heart you know it should be an eight, but uh, we'll let you say nine just to keep <laughs> the cutscene of Chlorin. <laughs> the cutscene of Chlorin made it a nine. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh right. that cutscene was so cool. All right, Eeks, so you're up, big man. Highs and lows of part two, buddy. Okay, highs and lows. Uh, I have to agree with uh, Nikrit on the pacing aspect. I thought it was really good. Like I did it all like in one sitting, and I like. I genuinely didn't feel a good time to get up and leave. Like, uh, I was pretty engrossed in it. And then, like, the stuff with the NPCs, I think it was actually pretty darn minimal. I think there's quests that are, like, really NPC-heavy, and it just sucks. But this one was, like, you talk to the three guys, and that was about it. Like, uh, I actually think it was relatively NPC low. And then... For the villain being an NPC, like, I agree with you, uh, Tectone, that, like, I love it when the characters are involved. But, like, the characters with names and models, you know, to the dismay of that 100 gigabyte guy in chat, like, they are the ones that are playable, you know? And it's like, do we really want the young girl kidnapping old man psycho scientist like to be a playable character? No, you just, you make be, him, uh, like, you make him a world boss. That's cool. Oh, that, yeah. that, that's a good idea. Yeah, and you know what would be like, cool? Like, what would be sick was the, the, the NPC was a world boss or like a dungeon boss or a weekly boss, <laughs> and you have to kill him every week for eternity to atone for his sins. Mm -hmm. That's what would be sick. Ooh, yeah. That would be so be, cool. That's actually a great idea. He'd be a sick uh, weekly boss. Yeah. Yes. Can you imagine? You go to the fountain every week and yeah. you fight and the you weekly boss. You whoop his ass, bro. You whoop yeah, his ass. Yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
like That's they awesome. did in Honkai Star Rail with Kokolia. Anybody play Honkai oh. Star Rail? Very good game. Very, very, very good game. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I... Oh, no, you go, Kettle. Sorry. No, no, this just reminds me of the fact that I, I, I think I was also slightly underwhelmed by the fact that the actual master villain was actually just one of these three NPCs. Like, I was a bit disappointed by that. I was... Yep. I was kind of hoping for a bigger villain because they were like, oh, this guy is so strong and powerful. He's been like murdering people left and right, center, and we still don't know who he is. And then suddenly, boom, we know who he is. And it was a little disappointing for me. I was kind of hoping for some like big, big like organization. Wait, you didn't think it was cool that old man NPC number 507 was behind it all? (laughs) (laughs) That was insane. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so that that was that was a letdown for me. I just remembered that I felt that. Wait, Code, yeah, are you are you wiggling for fun, Code? Or are you wiggling because you have something to say? Oh no, no, when I'm AFK from the screen. <laughs> oh <laughs> my fucking it's god! It's my AFK animation. So All right, yo, uh, I, what were you gonna say? Oh, that the whole thing about the final boss being an NPC. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's true because. At the end of Act 1, they hinted like, oh, this is a work done by this organization that is opposing of the Fatui or something, right? That was like the idea. Yep. And I was like, dude, what is this organization? It sounds like a big deal. I was like, yo, are they going to like include like a new organization that's brand new and fresh and like <laughs> badass, but like evil? And then it turned out to be an NPC. I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah. 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 Ends, right? yeah. <laughs> uh, each, yeah. What were you trying to finish your thought? Yeah, last two things that I think were really cool about part two were... So I already said I like how Fontaine's like a gritty, like actual big city. And then how there's a drug problem going on in like yep. a gritty big city. Like I that felt cool. That felt like real. So I liked the synth stuff, like even if there are like a couple little plot holes here and there. And then I keep going back to Nouvellet because he's been given so much more than uh, Farina. Uh, all the stuff with him was really cool. How he was like, you know, like he let the criminal guy who deserves absolutely nothing, like go up to the fountain to like talk with his wife or whatever, because he's like curious about human emotion, right? Mm -hmm. Like he was like, this is weird that someone would like do something not about their, like trying to save their life or like do something for someone else. So like, I just like all the Nouvellet, like kind of, personality traits and obviously the thing at the end where you talk to him and he visits the grave so um i thought i thought part two was banger i'll give it a honestly dude give it like a nine out of five nine point five and would you, you liked it more than part one yeah uh i think so for sure i think part one's still better hey good shit brother. part one is great like, come I on i'm really the only person that actually liked part three of Silveru's arco quest slightly more than this one yeah you are the only one all right Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh like, no! Dude, I, I I feel like the thing about this Arco quest, like it was good. Don't get me wrong, but I just wanted more lore about like the world of Tevat itself. Yeah, yeah. There's and no like lore. they yeah. delivered on that with Rika Devata. But for this one, the only interesting thing was like the primordial sea. Yeah, yeah but, like, I like, understand. This, quest this is only gave part one and two. Yeah, usually it's the uh, answers. Uh, Maybe there's maybe two that's... main quests and the Archon specific quest, right? And usually the Archon specific quest is the one that gives a lot of info, no? Ah, you're right. Maybe ah. this this is just a really good build up. You know, we're gonna mm-hmm. get all the big hard hitting shit next quest probably. Usually, I, hope. I know there's a there's this pattern where you know how there's 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 patches. It's mm-hmm. always yeah. the point one patches that's actually bigger than the zero yep. point zero patches. One million percent. One million percent. <gasps> it's you're way right. bigger and more story. So it's, right, that's pretty right. hype. Oh dude. It's already so good. And and what? Four point one we're getting New Villette and uh Joe Taro. Uh, <laughs> for uh, the new playable characters. I'm stoked on that, bro. That's gonna be so lit. All right, yo, Brax, wrap us up man. Highs and lows. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, he uh, didn't do it. <laughs> I, I haven't finished it, so here's oh here's my, okay here's my low <laughs> yeah right, here's my low right yeah it's it's taking so much longer to get into than the first one oh yeah because the first one just throws you in yeah the second one you have like I'm 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 over here the reason I stopped playing last night because I was trying to do this last night the reason I stopped playing was because it felt like it was so slow and I was falling asleep so I was like all yep. right I'm about to wait to finish that another day it, it so that's doesn't why I didn't it, it doesn't feel slow it is slow. Uh, just, I'm putting that out there, bro. Hey, I said what I said. All right, 
Well, that went on way longer than it was supposed to. I even had bonus questions, but holy shit, that was a long <laughs> episode. Uh, other questions I had were future host for Genshin, new elements, new weapon, Honkai Star Rail. Do you think Age of Star still Hoya versus Love Child? Uh, and will Ufi stop bringing up Honkai and back third? I guess we'll figure that out another episode. But uh, Never. guys, that was an awesome episode. I, I enjoyed that very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, Brax, Island, Kettle, Ufi, Necrit, you're not here anymore. Uh, Yanks, Code, <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Uh, thank you for fun. inviting Thanks for having us. us. Of course. I, I, really, guys heard. I really hope you all had fun. And uh, guys in chat, I hope that you'll go follow all of these amazing streamers and YouTubers, content creators here. Uh, all was, I hope you all agree that was an amazing episode. It was a lot of fun. A lot more lore. Uh, that's what I've been wanting. I've been wanting to talk about lore and story for a very long time. So it was very good for me. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Hope it was a good experience. And uh, if you guys ever want to come on for another episode, hit me up. You guys were awesome. Let's go. Thank, Thank you. Finally, go Let's go. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess some of y'all good night. And uh, if y'all need anything else, just hit me up in the DMs. But thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Peace. Bye. Bye. That was a absolute blast. Mods, if you can shout out all their channels, please go. If you like any of the counters here, please go follow their channels. Please go support their channels. That was a fun as f time. That was a fun as f time.